Oops. You understand why people watch this stream, right? You get yeah. It. Cause they want to see how stupid I am every freaking time I go on the air. It's Barry Caramello Live! Skateboarding is a sport. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please, 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 please. Forgive me for last Monday's uh, stream. I've had the worst weekend and in, in, in the in the worst crap go on in my life this entire week. And it's it's not done with or over with yet. So uh o over with what has happened to my my uh, ability to be an actor now I, I look like i don't even have a job anymore as a as a sag after actor i've been screwed over by them those effing people they don't give a rat's ass about anybody else but themselves and all they know how to do is take people's eyes and say up oh, check let's see let's, let's see let's see okay Gina Carano, we check her name off and say, you you don't have your SAG after card anymore, so fuck you. Uh, Daisy Ridley, oh, you don't have your SAG after card, fuck you. Uh, Perry Carabella, okay, you don't have your SAG after card, so fuck you. Uh, fuck our three lives up and destroy us. That is bullshit. Um, I don't know what I did other than support those two girls with with their problem and, 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 and want or wish... I can help them out. Again, the word support to help people. And 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 then I get screwed? How dare these people just screw me over? Oh, because I have a stream. And oh, because of my stream and my, my free talking on my stream uh, screws me. Oh, God. Well, it's, it's like, it's, it's like th this, is all, this is all a waste of time. In a waste of, of why am I in this business to begin with? I feel like a freaking human waste that's wasting my my waste. And I'm not talking about the poop comes out of my butt. I'm talking about the crap that comes out of my mouth and or, or just everything. Everything turns into a complete waste. And then I turn into I don't even know what to say anymore because I, I'm just so fed up with with all this garbage and all this obnoxiousness and all this craziness that uh people accuse me of and, and and abuse me for for remarking about and and treat me like crap and 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 just use me use me use me and abuse me oh shit now what oh boy now what apologizing i'm saying okay forgive me i'm supposed to be a, I'm supposed to be apologizing and 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 asking for forgiveness from you from everybody okay folks i i i apologizing and and i'm sorry for coming off like like a like a child because that's basically what happens with with this brain dead brain damaged dipshit i i turn into a a child and I and I act like a child, and I and I. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh fuck. So I mean, it just gets harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. It's just got to change. I've got to change. I'm not perfect, of course. Uh, but but things have got to change, and I I just wish uh, Fran Drescher and and the KK uh, Kathleen Kennedy uh, would understand that this is a stream. This is not a SAG job that uh, I did something wrong. I, well, well, because I'm supporting two girls that uh, should have their careers back as well, because they're just a couple of actresses doing an acting job. 
Well, they might have said something stupid. Oh, and Gina's good for that. And, and then Daisy goes to help Gina out, and Daisy gets in trouble. I've, and and now and then, and then I go to su- support them, and now I'm in trouble. I mean, come on. And, and 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 now Elon Musk's in trouble as well, but he's the richest guy on the planet, so he can pay every, pay for all this crap to 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 change and get straightened out. Like it's nothing. Ugh. Oh, what do we do? 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 Uh, all I can say is I, I don't take any of this for granted, and, and I don't mean to sound like a, a, a broken record, but I'm going to end up sounding like a broken record today because I am tired of being pushed around like I'm a child. I'm tired of it, tired of it. Now what? Now what? I'm going to leave you right here. You don't go in my pocket anymore. Okay. Put it back in your pocket. Put it back in your pocket. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, you know, <clears throat> so keep pushing me around. Put it back in your pocket, okay? Yeah, I don't know. Um, what, what else, what, what else do I say about, about, uh, about apologizing, I mean, I, do I have to keep keep saying I'm sorry? I mean, I mean, there's only so many times you can say I'm sorry, and and hopefully it'll stick to flypaper somewhere or stick to a wall somewhere. Because I don't know anymore. I I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know, and just all I do is cry like a little baby and and, and bitch and cry like a little child. So, and, and I got to be on the internet and 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 and, and act like this. I don't want to. I don't want to be on the internet acting like this. I want to be on the internet streaming for for some humor with a, with a little fun. I don't want to. pushed around anymore all right are you done with your uh, uh, is that your the the height of your apology period is the fact how so far that uh, that's, so, all, so I, all, that's roads, all i can think all of. roads lead back to you being a victim basically well the uh, <laughs> What else do I say? Well, I don't know. Maybe be a man and say, "Hey, you know what? I was kind of a jerk." And uh, you know, it's, it, I don't think it was, as, was, was, is, am, and uh, did act like a freaking uh, a freaking buffoon uh, three days ago. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days ago. <clears throat> okay. So we had this thing. Uh, hang on a second. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. We had such a effing fight all week that, that it's still this, a stupid fight I didn't fight I, with you, know, you. I, I, I didn't even talk anymore. I didn't even talk to you until Stop. yesterday uh, to you. you did leave me alone on my birthday which I, I'm very appreciative of thank you um, I wanted to show something real quick because we had this thing yesterday where I, I, you know, Perry was like I know I was I, I guess so Bob Levy called you I guess on Wednesday right I don't remember but we spoke Okay, you spoke. So what? And he was basically saying, "Hey, you were kind of a jerk on Monday, right? Something like that." I uh, again, he spoke about uh, coming out in March to go snowboarding. Okay. Besides that. Okay. 
I wasn't on the phone, Perry. I'm asking you. I, I don't even remember the phone call. Okay, good talk, Perry. Okay. As always, what a what a great host you are. Uh, anyway, uh, from what I gathered, I guess Bob uh, tried talk, pr- tried to uh, fruitlessly talking some sense into Perry because, uh, again, I thought you were just, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you are who you are, but you got, um, you were just very uh, surly and nasty and dismissive of your audience, which I find unacceptable. And I think you even recognize that. But, uh, you know, I'm Perry's accountability only goes so far. I'm, again, very sorry about the last stream and the disrespect. Anyway, uh, so so yesterday I had the idea of, you know, Perry never watches his own stream. Uh, It'd be funny or interesting if he actually watched his stream and seen uh, and saw his own behavior. So we did a little video yesterday. It's on Patreon right now. Um, patreon.com slash Perry Caravello. It's called Perry Watches Perry. And, uh, well, here, we'll play a little little bit of that right here. Hey, folks. Yeah, it's me. It's Perry Caravello. Uh, I, I know last Monday I was a complete uh, mess and a buffoon. And popcorn and salt. Yes. Get, your it's it's off it. Get your hand off it. Get your hand off it. Get your hand off it. Done. And really rude to not myself, but to everybody out there. Fuck yeah! You please forgive me for my stupidity and my my rudeness. The fuck? Um, I've never watched my own videos before. I am not asking for popcorn tins to see what went wrong with me mentally. Disgraceful. Emotionally. Disgusting. And on the stream garbage to see why I was such a rude 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 reject I'm gonna have to watch this to see what my problem was what I found interesting about that is you know it very did see like some things about why he was think why he was being you know kind of a jerk on uh, Monday but <laughs> for a large part of that video and, and, it, and that was all him I wasn't uh, I wasn't recording with him I, I set it up. I said, hey, hey, Perry, you know, just play and pause, whatever, but record yourself. And then I didn't see it until later. And a lot of it's just like the tip comments come in on the clip from Monday. And Perry on Monday is reacting to him. And then Perry, who's sitting there reviewing this video, is agreeing with other Perry. I mean, like, yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't want that. That's right. I don't want popcorn. That's right. I don't, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Instead of being like, you know what, I was a real jerk. I could see why people, and he did come around to that eventually. But a lot of it is just like Perry, just like, it's very interesting having Perry watch himself, especially close from the stream, because he's literally just like answering the comments twice, like once in the clip and then once as he's watching the clip. So it's very interesting. Anyway, that's on Patreon right now if you want to check that out. I'd like to do more of Perry Watches Perry. Maybe we could, uh, you know, find uh, some other stuff. Anyway, Perry, are we ready to have a good stream today? We're going to move on? <coughs> yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, by the way, um, fascinating watching you drink water. Uh, special guest today, Tony Hawk will be stopping by. He'll help uh, Perry open uh, some mail and things like that. Why do you call him? Why do you call him a name? Because that that's what not... he is. He's Tony Hawk, and you will not call him anything. Yeah. But, um, but until then, it is Mailbag Friday. So can we get one piece of mail, please, to start things off with? Mailbag. Hell, I don't need, I don't need a bottle of antifreeze or motor oil. I don't need this. The fuck am I being sent motor oil for? Is there a note in there? Is that all it is?
God. Oh shit, Mr. Caravello. We have Valvoline. Hey, can you maybe do this in front of the screen instead of all the way over there? We at Valvoline commend you because you do an excellent job of taking care of your classic car. Please accept this free premium motor oil and show us live on stream how to, how to change it from Valvoline. I'm not changing my oil. I'm not changing my oil on, on the stream. Oh, Christ. Still nice of them to send it, though. Huh? I said it was still nice of them to send it. Yeah, it's a, it's a send that bottle. I'll, I'll bring it over uh, to, to, to the shop later. To the shop. To oh, oh, you think they'll later. give a, a discount from ripping you off if you give them some uh, free motor oil? I'm not. No, I'm not. It's not even the weight that my car uses anyway. Wrong weight. That's for the new vehicles, not my car. My car is 1030. Ten W thirty is my See, card. And here I thought you were getting another piece of mail, but you were just uh, going over there for no reason. And then I want to get barbecue sauce. Oh, Christ. French's Cattleman's uh, barbecue sauce. The Carolina Tangy Gold. Oh, okay. Let's see what this says. Shit. Scaravello, you can run the best condiment stream. On the internet, please review our Tangy Carolina barbecue sauce live on PCL if you chug only 12 ounces. I'm not chugging this. I'm not drinking this straight from the bottle. You're out of your fucking mind. How dare you tell me to chug a bottle of barbecue sauce? F you, whoever the hell you are. From Cattleman's barbecue sauce. No way. Chug a bottle of barbecue sauce. Crazy people. Do you want to keep the barbecue sauce? Wait, wait, don't move on to the next thing. Do you want to keep that barbecue sauce? For what? I, I don't know. Do you use barbecue sauce in your daily life at all, or your uh... daily? Not daily, but sometimes when I'm uh, cooking uh, something with barbecue. With barbecue, okay, yeah. So I'm saying what I'm saying is, if you don't want to keep it for yourself, at least donate it. Yeah, it's on top of the. Uh, empty. All right, last mailbag, and then we'll uh, move on. Well, this is another bottle of something. I'm getting oh, a six pack or a 12 pack. If this says Skittles, this is all in the trash. C4 Skittles goes in the garbage. Well, hang on a second, Perry. 
Is there a note in there? Hold on, am I right? Is that Skittles? Strawberry watermelon. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, what a turnaround. Strawberry watermelon. Yay! A any chance you're going to take this out of the box and show the stream, or are you just going to dart away with it? Come here, come here. Damn it. It's a receipt. Sorry, 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 sorry. And a love letter, I think. All right, this is from Whitney Cummings. Finally, I got something respectful from somebody that has... Uh, 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 at least an ounce of respect for me. At least an ounce of respect. Baby, why don't you stream my uh, my name anymore? All I hear you say is Scarlett and Gina and Selma and Jennifer Aniston and, and She-Hulk and Randy. Please take these energy drinks to get your uh, cock hard for me from Whitney Cummings. Whitney... My luscious Whitney, where are you? When are you coming on my stream live? Whitney, oh, Whitney. You need to come here physically live. Then we can stream together. And um, let's see, we've got, we've got uh, strawberry watermelon, which is a good flavor. I've already got frozen bomb, bombsicle. Uh, and then I've got some frozen bombsicle in here as well as um uh, a yellow flavor in here what's the yellow flavor the yellow flavor shows uh sparkling peach mango oh god she put three flavors in here right yeah or four flavors wait there's another one in here there's peach mango um, and this one, I think, is different than that one. Yes, it is. I've got also cherry, cherry berry lime. Okay, thank Whitney, honey. I'm going to call you honey, Whitney, because I love you, dear. And I thank you, dear. This is a sweet, 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 sweet gift. And I love you to pieces. You know I love you to pieces. Um, you just won't marry me. You got that other guy you're screwing on me. I want you here on my stream live. Let me know when you're gonna come over and we'll, we'll stream together. Okay, bad. Love you bunches. All right. Let me set you right there. Oh yeah. Set you there. Put that there. Okay. What? What else? No, take a break from Mel. Take a break from Mel. Why don't you tell people no. about the dream you had last night? I thought that was interesting. What? I said, why don't you tell people about the dream you had last night? No way in hell. Why? It's too it's too nasty. <laughs> well And don't you even talk about it. Stop stop that was private. That's private between you and I. Paired up on the you crazy? What's wrong with it's a dream? You can't you can't be held accountable for what you do in a dream. I don't want people to know about this dream. Why too, not? It's too dead. It's too deadly. That's all I can say. It's, it's too, too deadly. deadly. Yeah, it was a dream that I murdered murdered uh, your friend, not my friend. He's your friend. He's your employee. He's not my employee. Perry had a dream that he murdered Tony Hawk. Keep bringing shit like that up. Well, okay. Well, in the dream, how did you murder him? I'm not gonna say. Well, Perry, again, we're having this. This is a stream. We're having a conversation about a dream. I'm not. not I'm not. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying what what happened. You are Perry, because I'm asking you to tell. So you are. What happened in the dream? I murdered the guy. Right, okay. how? Carefully. <laughs> with, with, with what instrument? 
Can you can you be uh, a little more specific? Knives. Knives axe. plural. Knives and axe. And I don't even have guns, so yeah. What did Tony do to deserve such treatment? He went into my refrigerator. Boom, he's dead. <laughs> what did he do to deserve such treatment? I said, you're not allowed to go into my refrigerator. What does he do? He goes into my refrigerator. So he lost his life that way. Hmm. Yeah. Went into my kitchen, went into my fridge, and then the whole kitchen turned into a big piece of red. And body parts everywhere. Yeah, you want to say, hmm? Yeah, that's what I, I wasn't, I, I didn't dream it, so I, I'm looking for you. You didn't dream it, but I did. So I don't want to, I don't want to go through that ever again. Right. So all you got to do is I don't want I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to dream it. I don't even want the thought to even come to my head again. <laughs> it was just too nasty and too disgusting and too deg- uh, uh, too gross to even think about it. It, it was like it was like the scariest R-rated movie I ever saw in my life. It makes it makes F and the Exorcist look like a Disney film. That's how that, that that's how deadly it was. That's how deadly it was. The Exorcist was like a Disney movie. Well, how far did the dream go? Did did you like? Did the were the police? I chopped his. I chopped his fing, I chopped his fingers off. I chopped his arms off. I chopped his head off. That's how far it went. That's very specific. Yeah. I lost my fucking mind. I would say so. And then I took my own life. And then I took my own life. So <laughs> oh, that's so how the it police, ended. So then the police... <laughs> See, I think you're making this up now. But So the police didn't come. How, how could the cops come when... when uh... The... <laughs> Cops are going to be ending up coming now. Well, I don't think the cops can investigate a dream murder. You know, it's not like uh, what what was the movie you were doing where Steven Spielberg almost ran you over? God, I don't even remember the name of that movie. Minority Report. I think in Minority oh. Report, people were busted for thoughts they had. You know, uh, that could, they, things that they were going to commit. Possibly, I, I don't think they could. I don't think they could bust you for a dream you had. So I think you're okay. Just a dream. Yeah, so be nice. Uh, be nice to Tony when he shows up. Um, okay, let's just get started. Carrie, your father used to make your mother crawl around on all fours and sniff his skid marked underwear. This is why you are so abusive towards women. I don't know what the heck this moron is talking about because he doesn't know anything. He's all he is is a whack job, so ciao. My, uh, my my parents were never that way. Never in a zillion years would they ever be that way. Whack job. After your father forced your mother to get face deep in his dookie stain, he would force her to say, This is some yummy poo poo, boss. Can I have some more? Stop dreaming, whack job. Perry, watch out for upcoming deliveries. Us fans got Bob Levy a race car bed for your apartment for his next sleepover. Please don't goon in it.
What? What's something about Bob Levy and a sleepover? I, I can't even hear it correctly, so. Well, turn up your volume then. Talk to me so I can hear, hear what you're saying. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> testing one, two, three. Fine. Okay. Fine. Here, fine. Can... Fine. Here. Perry, watch out for upcoming deliveries. Us fans got Bob Levy and uh, can't a a a race car bed for your bedroom. What the, shut up for his next sleepover. Sh again, shut up. There's no bed that's gonna be put in my house. Please don't don't goon in it. There's no more, there's no room for another bed in my home, moron. Race car bed for my apartment. I have a very small junior one bedroom apartment, no room for another bed in here. Idiot. Oh, God almighty, I just... He'll go back to his hotel room with his wife. If she comes too. I know things are tough. Relax. That's not how I spell my name. P E W R Y, not I. I don't smoke, will never smoke, and stop saying I smoke. I'm not going to Florida. I will never retire in the state of Florida. I'm not asking for a, a, a can blow you just, job. Can you your, just read it the way it's written? Okay, I'll read it the way it's written, then I'm going to tell you what I'm, what my thoughts are. Okay, it says, I know things are tough. Re relax, P-E-R-R-I. Perry, or, or smoke a cigarette, which will never happen. Retire to florida which will never happen have a randy blow out uh, blow you have randy blow you uh, i haven't seen that girl in ages so uh no she's not gonna blow me uh she moved to florida uh, moved to um um phoenix arizona eat a filet of fish no thank you i'm tired of those fucking fried fish sandwiches do these things he to calm you down do these things do these things he to calm you down. Do these things, the, the H-E, it doesn't belong there. Do these things to calm you down. No, no, well, pfft. it's not gonna, uh, cigarettes don't calm me down. Cigarettes will kill me. One, I will not be a smoker because I am not a cigarette smoker. Two, uh, three, I'm not doing anything that you say on this stupid message because it's all demoralizing, degrading, and despicable. Leaving California will never happen for me. If I leave Reseda, I leave Reseda to go back to Orange County. I go right back to Newport Beach or Costa Mesa or Huntington Beach. I don't go anywhere else. For the next sleepover with Bob Levy, will you guys play night crawlers and have a couple of goon sessions together? Why? I would never do goon sessions with another guy. Night crawlers. I've never heard of that game before. I don't know. What are you doing in a game like that? What, 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 what is that game all about? I know all these new kid games are, are totally different than the games that I knew when I was a young kid. Goon Crawler. Well, what the fuck is Goon Crawler? What is it, a caterpillar? A, a name of a caterpillar or something? <coughs> I don't know.
Perry since you want nothing but positivity on your stream, can you tell us about how to test it HIV positive? Was it the meat man that gave you it? I never tested HIV. I never tested positive for HIV. So uh, there's the positive. No positive HIV remarks. I'm not HIV positive, moron. Liar. Oh, shit. Perry, which gay act was your favorite? The John D. video or the 92 incident? While you're at it, tell us the 92 story again. Men holding hands. Men holding no! hands. No! Tell the 92 story again. I'm not talking about what happened to me over 30 years ago. No. God, fucking mighty. How many fucking times for 32 fucking years? You got to tell that disgusting, despicable, degrading, demoralizing, obnoxious story to fucking get me uh, disbarred as a sag after actor. Because you'll want me to slip and say one of the wrong words I'm not allowed to say on the internet to fucking make me lose my career. Thanks. <sighs> so, so, so... Do I do I get another message, please? Thank you for tipping. Hi, Perry. It was just my birthday, and for the past two years, you have always sang happy birthday to me. Could you sing it me, please? Love you, Perry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ali. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Your birthday, Tom's birthday. Today, February 23rd. Oh, boy. Two months is Gina's birthday. She better apologize to me as well. She won't do that. She doesn't care about me. Who are you talking about, Allie? No, Gina. Oh, better apologize to me. Well, happy birthday, Allie. Uh, can, can you focus on the people actually writing in and not all roads going back to Gina, please? Well, when your career is destroyed... Says who? How, how do you... Says who? What, what are you darting at? I'm, I'm looking at the, 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 the thing in my arm. Damn it. Let's let's move on, please. Wish Allie a happy birthday, please. Allie, happy birthday, please. <laughs> I didn't say to say please. I just said wish okay. her a happy birthday. Happy everybody wish Allie a happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Allie. Happy birthday, Allie. Thanks for the support. Perry gave me the best birthday present he could possibly give me. Perry's never gotten me a present. I did. For what a, did for, I give you? Well, I'm gonna say. Perry's never gotten me a present in the like 12 years plus since I've uh, known him, uh, even though I always get Perry a present. Uh, but this year, he gave me the gift of leaving me the F alone. <laughs> so uh, I didn't hear from him. I, I, I had like a couple of text messages. That was it. Oh, that's and the best present for the good. I'm going to read. I'm going to read you. I'm going to read the text he sent me. Uh, if I could scroll back that far, because, uh, of course, the next day it was... Uh, Back to business as usual. 
What did I say? Oh, you sent me. By the way, you like the new diapers? You sent me a picture of those. Yes, yes, they're very nice. Thank you. Can you very show nice. them off to the to the screen? Do I have to? Yeah, just I mean, you don't have to like get naked or anything. I just want to see a little bit of it. Oh. Well, I, I I literally got to scroll down so far to find a message from Tuesday. Uh oh, getting a little dangerous. Want to get naked? Okay. Yeah, what are they? Are they like little creatures on them or something? Yeah, little yeah. cartoon characters. Okay, that's 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 what they had in your size. That's the nice ones. This is like the Dead Sea Scrolls trying to go back to this text message because he sends he bombards me with YouTube clips. Um, my God. Okay, here we go. Oh, about the toy, the new Toyotas. Not just that. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> and the God, Elon he, Musk he texts and, like a madman. The Elon Musk and the uh, uh, Gina Carano garbage with the with whack job that's uh, killing all of us. Oh, here we go. Um, it's Tuesday, which means you need to sleep. So have a sleepy birthday. Just kidding. Have a great birthday. I'll stop bitching and crying and be a baby and being a baby and leave you alone for the day. Have a great birthday. I love you. Thank you, Perry. That was very nice. That was actually very sweet. I love you too. Excuse me for belching. You're excused. And now the uh, the next day, which was like uh, early, early in the morning, was uh, now Gina Carano F's over her career and Daisy's career and tries to destroy mine. Good luck, that effing whore. I should get rid and destroy all pictures of her in my apartment. I'm tired of looking at her face. I hope yeah, you had a happy I... birthday. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> That picture will go in the file soon. Put Scarlet in there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I got the gift of uh, I got the gift of uh, a Perry free day uh, on my birthday. So it was all like all a man could ask for. Uh, and by the way, I want to say uh, thank you. I had a lot of really nice, uh, warm, lovable messages from people uh, via Patreon, email. Um, really, really nice things. I thank you everybody um, for, for the nice messages and nice remarks. When Scarlett Johansson comes to L.A., it would be a pleasure to have her on the stream as well. Um, if ever, um, I would like to have either Scarlett on the stream physically. I'd like to have Jennifer on the stream. Jennifer meaning Jennifer Aniston on the stream physically. I'd like to have Whitney Cummings on the stream physically. Since so she sent me this awesome gift of uh, C4s. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Honey, you know I love you. You know I know you love me in return because that's why you sent me something so warm, lovable, and sweet. Thank you. You rock, girl. Thank you. Well, oh, it's an interesting topic, actually. Now that Gina is out of the picture, uh, where what is the... Um, the tournament ranking now of the remaining uh, PCL fantasy girls uh, in in your head. Uh, what do you mean by tournament ranking? Well, Gina was number one. Which which for a girls? Long time. Which which girls next? You mean? Well, in order, like where? What's the ranking now? Whoever shows up, Whitney. Uh, Whitney. Well, but, this, okay, but if you uh, had your this. druthers and you could pick, what would be the order? Give me Again, a top five. Uh, top five. Top five. In order. Scarlett in order? In order. I don't know if it's in order. Well, it has to be in order. Number, give me number one and number two. It's over. Whitney so Cummings, far, so. Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Aniston. That's three. Um, 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 Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I said Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Garcia, Jennifer uh, Corbin. That's four. Jo 
<clears throat> I mean, I've known Jennifer Corbin since the late 90s, so I would like to have her back in my life as a friend as well. I know she got mad at me a long, 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 long time ago. I forgot what that was about, though. Um, something to do with the comedy store. I, I forget what happened over there, but uh, it was just some stupid garbage. Um, and then she moved to the state of Florida with her son. Or, or she moved to Florida and had a son. I had something, something like that. I know she's got a little boy now, so. But Jennifer will always be sexy in 17. Meaning Jennifer Corbin. Jennifer Corbin's a beautiful girl. A sweet girl. Love her, miss her to pieces. I mean, what else can I say? I don't know anymore. But again, Whitney Cummings, I mean, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This gift on the floor behind me on my left is a beautiful, lovable gift. And they're the flavors I respect and like. Not that garbage, that Skittles garbage. <laughs> Yuck. I like watermelon and, and uh, I, I like all the flavors that you got me. You got me every flavor other than the, the, the that that super, super sweet candy. Yuck. That I hate. Ugh. And lo and behold, the Nestle company manufactures Skittles. And they also make M&Ms. So... <laughs> Whatever. That's all I can say is whatever. <laughs> M&M's plain or peanut, all right? Plain peanut or almond. I prefer almond out of all all the, the, the M&M's, but I mostly get peanut. But again, if I prefer almond, you know, send me a bunch of M&M's with almonds in them. That'd be awesome. Ugh. Nestle. What's the state that that city is, is in? Is it Nestle, Pennsylvania, or Nestle, North or South Carolina? Where, where, is, where is Nestle? If you uh, know, Tom. Nestle, New York? I, I don't know. I, you know, I... I know they had a big uh, presence in New Jersey that they recently closed, and I, I, I and I, I only know this because I had a friend that worked at Nestle. I believe their new headquarters is in Virginia, but don't quote me on that. I'm I'm just trying to find out where the city Nestle is, not 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 the the candy plant. I believe you're so, confusing that with Hershey. Oh, Hershey. Okay. <laughs> Hershey and Nestle. What do I know? Okay. Yeah, Hershey. Where is Hershey? I think there's a Nestle in Florida, but I don't think it's uh, related to the candy. The city of the city Nestle is a city in the in there, the there's state literally of a Nestle in Florida. Yeah, I think it's like okay. Okay. All very right. south Florida. I I think. Okay. And then there's Hershey is where? Hershey's in Pennsylvania, and that is Hershey for the chocolate. It's the, right. the, their, their, their whole factory, and they have a theme park there in Pennsylvania. I don't okay. believe that Nestle in Florida is connected with Nestle chocolate, but we're, we're in the okay. chocolate weeds right now, so you know, I don't know how well, interesting this is to anybody. I mean, I'm into the the factory weeds, not the, not the chocolate weeds. I'm just trying right. to figure out where these factories are. I remember, I, just 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 to, to before we completely uh, machete ourselves out of these weeds, I do remember going to, and I'm not a big candy guy. I'm, I I've never been like a chocolate bar type dude, but uh, I had a good friend that worked at Nestle, and I I got a factory tour. This was like I don't know, this is like 12 years ago or so, and in I was Florida. Able to, 
you know, like where they make the chocolate bars. Down in, again, down in Florida or up no, no, this was in New Jersey. They they have a different a lot of you know it's like it's like beer you know where they have different places around like, the country like car companies in this country. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, but place. you know it, it, it's not the main thing. Anyway, the main hub of North America right. where they made the chocolate. And I I was actually. Right. I actually like got like a chocolate like a Nestle's crunch like literally off the conveyor belt as it was like before it was packaged, you know, and it was like one of the best things ever. And plus I got to have a um I think cool. it was a Twix bar uh but just the cookie like before it went into everything. It was it was very interesting. It was very interesting like I was able wow. to, to, to test everything but Anyway. It's kind of like car factories, too, because um, when I first moved to California, which is now um, the uh, it, it's it's now a. Um, uh, oh, crap. What what's the name of that place over there? It's now it's now Costco off of Van Nuys Boulevard. It used to be the General Motors plant. It used to be where they made the Chevy Camaro. It was manufactured right here in Van Nuys. On Van Nuys Boulevard. Let's get another piece of mail. Camaro, they, they used to make the Chevy Camaro and the uh, Pontiac Firebird on Van, on Van Nuys Boulevard. Mail. Okay, here's a mail. Bag of mail. Okay. Okay. Excuse me for belching. <clears throat> Christmas? What the fuck? The Christmas costume. A Christmas tree. Oh my god. <laughs> How long has that been sitting there? Was that sent after Christmas? There's that. Oh no. There's. Let's see. That's a Christmas tree. This is. Dated 12 8 2023. Oh, okay. Thank you for your recent Amazon purchase. We strive to offer you the best value and service of uh, possible. Please give a moment. Okay, that's rate. just an invoice, but there's no actual gift note. Mm. No. Okay. Well, you know what? Just put that in the closet. We'll save it for Christmas. I mean, uh, that's a great costume. Okay. I didn't mean to run over to the closet now, but. Okay. Back over here. Oh, by the way, Perry, let me get to this real quick before we move on to the next mail item. Now the thing about that, uh, it was at the top of the, the bag, which means I just got that. Yeah, How that's it. Because honestly, I remember being there for New Year's and going through the mail, and you were. I didn't see anything like that. Anyway, listen, we're going to move on for a second because I got a quick offer here for you. No. Just put just put that down for a second. Um, this is from our friend John Jimin. You know John. Uh, he was there on New Year's Eve, and this is kind of serious because he's been uh, in a, in kind of a bad way because he lost his wallet, and he's ba basically tracked down every possible uh, place, and he's thinking he could have possibly dropped it at your place. So he says. Uh, I think I left my wallet at Perry's place on New Year's Eve. I think it fell out of my pocket while I was on his couch. Can I please trouble Perry to check under his couch for $10? So he's going to pay you 10 bucks just to check under your couch for his wallet. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can get a better camera angle on this. It'll be probably under, you know, in between or under the uh, the couch cushions, you know? 
Why would my why would this moron put a wallet underneath my couch cushion? Well, he's not putting it there, Perry. He obviously it obviously fell out. That's you know, you ever lose your wallet? It usually you don't usually deliberately lose your wallet. It just fell out. No. I thought I saw something there. Can you pull that cushion out a little bit more? Or was that just a tag? No. Tag. Okay. Hey folks. Yeah, it's me. It's Perry Caravello. Uh I I know last Monday I was a complete uh, mess. Anything else? Hello. Stuff animals. Cigarettes. Nothing there. Are you looking under the cushion? Yes. Okay. Try the other cushion. I mean, what? things get lost in couches all the time. Nope. 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 Nothing? Nothing. Okay. What about under the couch? Can you just quickly feel under the couch for anything? Why would it be under the fucking couch? I don't know, Perry. It just takes a little bit of effort to check, just to be thorough. No, the bottom of the couch is... thing is hanging, that's all. Ow! Ow! All right. Set you over there because you need to get opened. Ah! Hello, yes. Are we working or are we doing anything else? Well, I'm working. I don't know about you. It looks like you're opening mail. That's part of the job, right? Look here. Another probably stupid shirt. Let's see what we have here. Uh, is there a letter in there? No, there is not a letter in there. This is an a shirt, of course. Size shirt, though. I don't like that uh, gay pride shit. Can I see it? I'm trying. It's how hard is it to open up a shirt? Looks like oh, that's Prince's. Fine. That's fine. That's just a anchor. That's a nice shirt for you. It's a very big. What size is that? Double XL. It looks very big. It says two XL on it. Yeah, two XL. Mm. In this oh, wait come here oh, wait Oh, 
Well, 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 well. I got my Hooters calendar. Yay! Hey, finally. Is there a note with Yay! that? Is there a note? Yay! And you sit there. Well, you stand up right here. Supposed to be a very happy day for you. Yes, it is. But there's no note. Okay. Nothing. Hey, can we can we just quickly, and I do mean quickly, go through the calendar, see who the girls are? Well, you're, uh, the calendar is not to be destroyed, number one. Uh, well, I didn't say that. I said, can you show us the girls? Hold on. We already missed Cause... January, unfortunately. Huh? I said we already missed January. Oh, well, apparently, I, I guess that's from uh, Miss Alchemist, so you can thank her. Oh, thank you, Miss Alchemist. Thank you. Who's always very good to you. Thank you. So, Showtime. I don't remember seeing this one, though. I got the calendar, but this is, it says Hooters 2024, Showtime. When did, when did you start getting Hooters calendars? Like, what year? Back what in, back in uh, 83. Three or four when they first opened up in um, Costa Mesa, Newport Beach. They they opened up uh, uh, Newport Beach Hooters over down by the Newport Beach Pier. And have you ever and missed a year with... where you didn't get a calendar, or has it been every year no. since? No, every year, every year since. <clears throat> so here's the. Um, there's no nudity in this, right? Just to be sure. No, of course not. It's just everybody in bikinis. Okay. All the girls are in bikinis. Okay. Yeah. Hooters. Hooters is a restaurant, not a not a not a porno store. I I know. Okay. And then you got this. Nice. And food food coupons. Go get a nice bite to eat. You're this gonna is use October. those, right? Well, when I get to Long Beach or when I get to Thousand Oaks or... or so you, you don't uh, even have one near you. I used to have one in Burbank, but they shut down the Burbank store. It's weird. So I have two. November I have two 2023, December 2023, January, February 2023. There's February. Nice. That is uh, Kiana... From Odessa, Florida. 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 Yeah, you know what? You know what Odessa. Florida has a lot of Hooters. Yeah, well, that's their home base. Yeah, I think there's a Hooters Florida. like every two miles. In Florida, yeah. And then you got um, Sophia in uh, uh, Mason, Ohio. There's Sophia in Mason, Ohio. Um. Let's see. Let's go back real quick. In February, is there anybody here from California? Tara Spring. Okay, Megan. Uh, Lone Tree, Colorado. Uh, Kylie from Mesa, Arizona. Uh, Batten. Uh, I, I just want to go through the months, Perry. I don't want to spend all time all right. reading the whole thing. <clears throat> Again, Sophia from March. Right. Paris from Savannah, Georgia. There's Paris from Savannah, Georgia. Nice. By the way, why would you want to stay in a state that takes away Hooters and then uh, why not want to move to a state that just keeps adding Hooters? It seems like Florida has more Hooters. Because I want to live in my state where I can go snowboarding and snow skiing and ski. You can do all that in Florida. No, you can't. You Florida's can. flat. Flat, flat, flat. You can't ski in Florida. Uh, you've clearly never been to Magic Maya. Mountain I know in Maya. Uh, Orlando. Huh? I said you've clearly never been to Magic Mountain in Orlando because they have a huge I'm not mountain. interested. Not interested. A.B. Tressley from Mesa, Arizona. That's the whole centerfold of her. Do you think she's really taking a shower there or do you think they just uh, posed for that? They posed for that. 
My Maya from Sarasota, over by my dad's old place when he lived in Sarasota. Uh, Cassidy from Grand Prairie, Texas. Cassidy, the big girl. Grand Prairie. You any favorites so far, or is it you just taking it in for the first time? It's I'm just I'm just looking at all the pages. I don't know anybody yet. From uh, Sarah from Daytona Beach. Sarah. Um, yeah, my favorite work, still works in Long Beach. And uh, she was she was in this this last year's calendar. Bella from Jacksonville, Florida. Bella. So they don't use the same girl twice. It's, these are all new girls. No, of course not. These are all new girls on, on the calendar. Grace from uh, Naples, Florida. Grace, Naples, uh, Hooters. Aaron from Delaware. Okay. Olivia, Olivia from uh, Loveland, Colorado. Olivia, maybe I'll show my face in the, in the Loveland Hooters when You'll I go bring to Colorado. The calendar. Maybe she'll sign it. I'm not bringing the calendar. Please. Another centerfold page. Um, showing off girls from all over the place, and then and then your coupons and stuff. So, and then we go to the bottom. Well, there, there it is. That's the end of the. Who are all these? Are these girls that didn't make it, or are these just the same pictures? These runner ups. Runner up girls. Not quite good enough to get their own month, but here they are. Well, from 1990 to 2020 to 1999, 2004. Oh, so those are past ones on the on the yeah. These are cover. girls from the past. Damn. Yeah. Twenty showing nineteen ninety two, twenty thirteen, two thousand five. Who was the Hooters girl in nineteen eighty two? I don't see a name, so okay. She's she's right right here, right where my thumb is. Well, I'll tell you what, Perry. Why don't you? Uh, get it on the wall and make it official and then we can move on with our lives. Well, I'll put it up after the stream. Okay, yeah, your call. All right, I got an offer here for you, Perry, and I would uh, suggest you take it because it's 30 bucks and it's super easy. Yeah, now what? All right, it's from uh, The Real Yergi. And all he wants is for 30 bucks, he said, I will pay Perry to put on the rainbow anchor shirt, look into the camera with a smile on his face, and say the phrase, quote, I'm going to blow so many dudes on this cruise. So it's basically an acting job for 30 bucks. Oh, God. I'm not going on a stupid-ass cruise. Right. But you can Ain't pretend you are. Shirt. But this? Yeah, the rainbow yeah, shirt, the one you just got. Yeah, I'm going to go on a boat and push everybody off. So the boat's mine. All right, well, the offer's not over yet. Hang on. Let's get your hat on. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're going to look right into the camera and say, I'm going to blow so many dudes on this cruise. I'm going to blow so many dudes on this cruise. You got to act a little excited. like. I'm going to blow so many dudes on this cruise. Come on. like I'm going to blow so many dudes on this cruise. And then make the gesture. 
I'm going to blow so many dudes on this cruise. Above and beyond, as usual. Uh, okay, here's an offer from... You can take it off so soon? Just leave it on for a little while. Here's an offer from Sketch317. $20 for Perry to dump all of the barbecue sauce on the Hooters calendar. No. I didn't think Never. so. Never. I didn't think so. Never, ever, 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 ever go down that effing road again. Yeah. Never. I didn't think so. Yes. Where are you darting to? Why are you darting all the way over there? You go, Perry. Thanks for apologizing, Perry. We forgive you for sitting on your butt while it gets harder and and, and harder. Randy Callahan told us that's how you got into acting. What? Sitting on my ass? We're getting harder and harder. Whatever. I got into acting by answering a dumbass ad in a penny saver. So I got into acting. <clears throat> All right, Perry, let me get to some like Tom's it. tips. Okay, we know what Tom's tips are. Tom's open tips. Open my comedies. Say again? Cut me into acting. I says open my comedies will cut me into acting. Okay. Uh, let me get to some Tom's tips. Tom's tips are tips read by me, Tom, and all proceeds of Tom's tips. Do not go to Perry. They go to very hardworking Jim and very hardworking Garrett. If you would like to get a Tom's tip on the air, send an email to pcloffers at gmail.com or simply hit up uh, Jim PCL in the Twitch chat or find him in Discord, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, first Tom's tip is from attorney Shuli Bergstein or Steen. Okay. Attorney Shuley Bergstein. Shuley Bergstein. Sound familiar? Shuley. Not, not, not to be so confused with Shuley of the Shuley Network. Our Shu our friend Shuley. This is oh, Shuley. that that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, it, it, unless he doubles as Shuley an attorney. Berg, okay, Shuley Berg Bergstein. Bergstein, okay. We are informing what's, what's you that a California state? court has awarded Fran Drescher... The bedroom dresser of Perry Fran. Henceforth, not a, Perry not, Fran henceforth, never possible. Henceforth, Perry's friends, Perry Fran's dresser. I see what they're saying. Perry's friend's never, dresser. Never allowed. Never allowed. to Fran Drescher. According, nope. Accordingly, make Fran's dresser accessible to Fran Drescher within 24 hours. Nope. Never possible. No one's allowed to have any of my furniture. No one. Fran Drescher gets my dresser, my dresser that holds my clothing. No one gets my bedroom dresser. Dress. Right. No one. <laughs> Fran Drescher. D R E S C H E R. You do not get Perry Caravello's bedroom dresser. D R E S S E R dresser. No, wrong. You do not touch anything that is mine, and that is a family uh, reminder of my of my parents. No, 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 no. Well, according to Mr. Bergstein, it's Franz Dresser. It's not Franz Dresser. Her last name might be Dresser. But her, by my dress, sir, is not her dress, sir. Well, take it up with him, because he says Fran Drescher has the dresser. Oh, fuck off, loser. Bye. All right. Uh, before we get to this next Tom's Tips, Perry, uh, Jim has given me a stunt offer that I'm going to go ahead and accept, and uh, we'll do it as the closer. What is? Perry, please let me get this out first. It's an amazing offer, and the supplies are already on the way. Here it is. Perry must turn his apartment into an Orville Redenbacher-style Discovery Zone ball pit 
by emptying ten large popcorn tins all no over the floor. No fucking way! No motherfucking way! Out of your goddamn fucking mind! Get the fuck out of my house! Get out of my house! Go fuck yourself! I'm turning the goddamn computer off! Right now! You fucking prick! Go fuck yourself! Good day! No, you, you won't get paid. Fuck. You won't get paid. No, you fucking ruined me, you son of a bitch! Get your hand off the mouse, Perry. I'm just reading Tom's tips here. Watch get out of my life! If I get out of your life, you'll be in big trouble. I'm done! You want to be done, Perry? You want to end the stream and not get it paid? You want to... Is that what you want to do? I'm not taking any stupid, goddamn moronic, retarded, fucking goddamn garbage, fucking popcorn, and fucking spray it in my house! Fuck you! Good day, we're done. Done. Goodbye. That's right, you fucking whore. Goodbye, you fuck. <sighs> Bye. Sorry, being a fucking pain in my ass. <sighs> Fucked again. Thanks. Fucked again. Well, you F yourself, Perry. So stop acting like a psychopath and let me get through yeah. this. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm, no, no, no. You're just, you're going to sit there and do your job, is what you're going to do. This is trash. No, no, it's not. You're going to leave it right there. And you're going to sit down, stop bopping, stop acting like a psychopath, and let me finish my job, please. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Get your hat on. Let's go. All right. Here is a Tom's tip from... Hey, stop with the desk stuff. You're going to pay attention now. Uh, this is a Tom's tip from Sketch317. Hey Tom, happy Friday and belated happy birthday. Well, thank you, Sketch. I appreciate that. Happy Friday to you and everyone. Hey Scaremaster, since you've been back from your holiday break, you've been really shitty on your streams. You've acted above the stream because of the lawsuit. Then you were distracted by thinking about the lawsuit, and then you were sad because you were never part of the lawsuit. Talking about the Elon Musk, uh, Gina thing, of I, course. I, I want nothing to, I don't want to be a part of that in any way, shape, or form. Well, you could have fooled me. How dare you abuse me or accuse me um, of wanting to be a part of the lawsuit? You're the one who ran to West Hollywood last Friday to be a part of the lawsuit, so don't sit there and lie. No, I, I went to West Hollywood to have a dinner meeting with with uh, uh, people that said, "Oh, I'm going to be here at this address, right?" And bring all because, this fucking food because and find out that they're that we're not even going to be here because you, you wanted fucking to fucking lying fucking whores. Okay, close your mouth. Gina, close your fucking, mouth. Uh, close Elon your mouth. Musk. Close your mouth. Fucking lying, disgusting. Perry, Perry fucking stop people. talking. Stop talking and listen. You went there because you were begging and demanding to be a part of the lawsuit. So what Sketch is saying is 100% true. And you're lying if you say otherwise. You wanted to be a part of that lawsuit. That's why even me begging you not to go, you were calling me the moron. Okay, so he's 100% right. Anyway, moving on. I really think you should make it up to the stream by letting Tony Hawk read your porno hub search history on the stream today. Then let him make a Trader Joe's pizza. And could you ask no. him to sign my grocery store certificate and Mancy's? No! Fuck you! And not yours! Get my ass, you cocksucker motherfucker! Get out of my life! You fucking son of a bitch! Get out of my life! He's not allowed in my home! Fuck you! And Matt C's skateboarding pictures. Men holding hands. Cheers from Canada. Sketch 317. Perry, can you do me a favor and watch... Excuse me, can you do me a favor and watch your vile, disgusting language? Thank you very much.
And here's a Tom's tip from Perry Caravella. I guess you sent this one in. That was very nice of you. I didn't send it in. Ago. Tom, it's Perry. It's 10.30 a.m. my time, making it 11, 12, 1.30 p.m. your time. I have a new rule for everyone who gets invited into my apartment that goes for Tony Hawk and Bob Levy as well. You are allowed in my one-bedroom apartment complex as long as you bring over a bag of McDonald's with a large Sprite and four, one, two, three, four, filet of fish sandwiches with extra pickles. If they don't have extra pickles, I don't want them. I'm a very hungry boy, and I want to be fed nothing else but McDonald's. Please establish this rule on all of my channels and pages. That is all. Over and out. It's a fucking lie. That sounds That's why just, it's not that me. Sounds it's just so, like you. It's it's a lie because it's not me. I will not. I'm not a person that likes those fillet of fish sandwiches. I can't stand the fillet of fish sandwiches. It's fried meat. It's disgusting tasting. It's garbage food. I don't want fillet of fish from McDonald's. When I was a kid and I used to go eat at McDonald's, I used to get a quarter pounder with cheese. Nothing else. Then as I got older, I, I I added ketchup and now ketchup and lettuce and onions. That is it. Oh Christ! I know, Perry. I got an offer here. I'm going to pitch this to you, and this is a very good offer because it, it's a hundred dollars and it's very easy. Yeah. Perry, I need you to pay attention. Stop looking down. No, I'm not looking anywhere. My neck is in Yeah, pain. I know. Your neck because you act like a psychopath. So stop and just pay attention. Listen. No, it's it's the weather. It's the, that's where my neck I is. I got it. Pretty okay, we don't want to hear about it. Um, here, here is an offer from Mike N. Now, you're not going to do this offer until Mike N pays because this is not a regular uh, contributor. Uh, but he's offering $100. $100 if... You cut up your Hooters calendar into six pieces. Never going to happen. Never, ever, ever will that ever happen. You fucking loser. Go to fuck yourself. Okay. God uh, damn it. Uh, Mr. Garbage Mouth, let me uh, explain to you the logic here. Now, the Hooters. The logic is this my calendar. I don't give a damn. It's a hundred thousand dollars. Kiss my ass. Good day. Stream is over. We're done. Good. Then you don't get paid. Sit up here. No, we're not done. No, we're not done. No, we're not done. No, we're not done. Sit up. Fucking respect. Perry, you're not getting respect. That's not what PCL is. Sit up. Sit up. Hey, Perry, we don't do the stream from back there. Excuse me, I can't hear you from back there. So pull up a chair and stop acting like a buffoon. Oh my. Okay. So again, again, I don't want to hear about your neck or whatever else. Any stupid fucking chop up of my goddamn calendar. Okay. Fuck okay. you. Okay, Mr. Garbage Mouth. It's not supposed to be part of this goddamn stream. Fuck you. Okay, Perry, the next time I hear the F word out of your mouth, I'm going to dock you. I don't want to hear it. i got a fucking bug over here now. Okay, you're just docked. Goddamn shit and the fucking shit on my fucking desk. All this garbage. Fucking crap. Now what? Now what? What now? Stop with the bugs. <sighs> but I killed it, but I didn't. Hey, 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 stop your mumbling. I said I thought I killed it, but I didn't. It took off and went somewhere else. Hey, hey, Perry, I am in the middle of talking. I don't want to hear about your infestation problems, okay? Uh, now, you don't have to accept this, Perry, but I do want to explain the logic to you, okay? A Hooters calendar is worth 20 bucks or less. Very easily replaceable. Very easily replaceable. So if somebody's offering you $100 to cut it up, you would have a net profit of eighty dollars because you would spend twenty on buying a new a new calendar. Okay, and I, and I know you're not the brightest bulb in the in the batch. I'm not driving down the Long Beach just to get a no, calendar. No, you wouldn't have to. You know, again, that's another thing where I don't know if it's the fact that you're this like old boomer that doesn't realize you could order it online and have it delivered to you in days. I'm, I'm tired of this ordering online garbage. 
why would you be tired of ordering online? It's super convenient. Anyway, Perry, so if you don't want to take it, don't take it. But this is $80 in your pocket, free and clear. And all you have to do is then after the stream, I'll even help you. I'll do it for you. Order a new Hooters calendar to be replaced. But if you don't want to do it for the hundred dollars, don't do it. But it's very foolish. No, of you I'm to not going down. to. Okay, fine. I'll I'm move not going on. To. You know, you, again, Please. you can only lead a horse to water. I can't. Uh, you know, logic isn't exactly Perry's best friend. Not today. Not any day. It's 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 been beating me up. For no one's no 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 no. Don't don't get into this victim role again. Yeah, yeah. You're not being all. you're not being yeah. beat up, Perry. You're just all you doing... guys do is kick my ass. No no no. You kick your own ass. Stop stop acting like you're the victim here, Perry. You're not. I am most definitely. No, the you're victim most definitely here. not the yes. victim, Perry. You're doing a stream called Perry Caravella Live, and you're the yeah. host. Okay, that's that. This is the stream, and this is the way it's been for quite I'm a long time. Like so moron. No one wants to hear your uh, bitching and moaning. Uh, okay, let me see if I have anything else. That's the job, to bitch and moan. No, it's so. not the job. Your job is to be a host and to be entertaining. And the bitch and moan. That's no. the part of being uh, the host. Not, not to bitch and moan. I thought being the host of this stream is to bitch and moan. No, it's to be yourself, Perry. And, you know, sometimes the bitching yeah. and moaning is a part of it. Is myself. But nobody wants to constantly hear you bitch and moan. That's what people, people don't tell I get tired of it. I get tired of it. Okay, so stop Sick doing it. Okay, we're moving on now, Perry. So if you're done with the muttering to yourself. Perry, since you want nothing but positivity on your stream, can you tell us some positives of the upcoming sleepovers with Bob Lovey? I don't know when, well, Bob and I plan on going snowboarding. So that's, that. that and he, I don't know about him sleeping over here. What is he? Is he gonna sleep on the couch or what the hell? Hold on. Where are you going? Light. Pray, sit down. Uh, light was blinking on me. I fixed it. Um. Yeah, he wants to come over, but uh, if he comes over, fine. Okay. You'll sleep on the couch. I sleep on my bed. I have a neck issue, so I have uh, my my pillow to like, help take care of my neck issue. So that's why nobody sleeps in my bed but me. Perry, you need to move the dining room table to make room for Bob's race car bed. Don't worry about yeah, assembling it since ass. we got labors to do that for you. Nobody's coming into my home and, uh, and putting a bed in my house. The dining room table doesn't go anywhere. It stays where it's at. Race car bed. Fuck you. There's no goddamn bed coming into my home. A stupid childish race car bed. F you. And if I see a fucking big ass race car bed at my house, it goes in the big fucking garbage bin. I won't even sell it. I'll just throw it in the trash. Bob will get a hotel room. Like he did the last time. <clears throat> oh, brother. Push me over the edge. I, I'm tired. You know what? Now what? Sorry. Thanks. Hey, Tony, how many hours do you think Perry Coon's for? Why are you... What do you, what, what do you mean by goons for? What, sleeps? How many hours does, does Perry sleep? 
I like to sleep by eight hour nights, six to eight hours at night. Hmm. Goon, sleep. I sleep six to eight hours. I wake up like every other hour to go pee. All right, Perry, uh, you have a delivery. If you can go get that, please. Brother. <laughs> hey. You're my delivery? You got a delivery? And what's this up here? Trash. I think. Is it a sick for you? Trash. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tony, Jim said you can get anything you want from the kitchen. All right. Bye. No. Perry, it's your new dog. He threw away the other one, right? Threw away? Yeah. Are you used him enough? Sit down. He gave it away. About? Hey, Tony. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the mailbag. Hey, Street. Hey, Tom. Tony, great to see you, pal. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, you that. Little stomach settler. Yeah, yeah. You know, Sprite works better than the 7-Up. For him. Here, I'm going to throw this away, okay? No, I'm putting it in the trash. Get out of here! Hey, Tony, I don't know if you were listening to the stream, but did you hear about Perry's dream last night? I did. I did. Um... Now, it's either one of two things. Either, would you like to give me an apology? It was a dream, that's all. Or, I don't know if the stream knows this, Perry and I talked a lot before the Super Bowl about snowboarding, um, our relationship, things like that. And uh, I don't remember what you're talking about. You don't remember blocking me on the day of the Super Bowl? Anyway, no. it's more of a lover's quarrel. I'd like to think that we've been in and, you, you know, about. his dream represented a Romeo and Juliet uh, murder-suicide type thing. Good luck. Yeah? Uh, you know, that sounds more accurate. Yeah. Stay away from me. What do you mean? Go away. Uh, Perry, the door's right over there. Stop it. Just stop it. Tony's not going anywhere. I, I, yeah, I tried to take him snowboarding. Um, tried? No, you didn't. Perry. I've never... Gone. You never called me up saying we're going snowboarding and picked me up. Nope. I did because I I'm pointed here. this out to Perry. He doesn't even need to get on the lift. They have snow play areas before the mountain. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Those might be too steep for you. Oh, please. You know, you can get there with the little kids and their mittens. Uh, Don't you think that'd be good? Well, he's used to that because he uh, just goes to the skate parks with little kids. So he's used to doing foolish activities with little kids. Mm -hmm. How about that? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. What's the problem? We'll see. What's the problem? You. You're a problem. What? Uh, I don't like this attitude, Perry. I don't like it. I don't like what you're saying. So What? To take you snowboarding? Well, you, yeah, you take me snowboarding, and I don't want me to be able to go up the mountain. Please. We will be in the mountains, but you don't need a lift. Well, don't they have a pass or fail I'm, guy that basically they judge you based be on, on your skill I'll level? Be at the yeah. Top of the hill. yeah, definitely. I'll be at the top of the hill. Parry. Coming down and falling and getting they up will and not, They saw you out. last time. There is no way they will sell you a ticket. Whatever. Perry. You're on the no board list, Perry. They yeah, you're on the no you. board list. I'm on the no board list because you put me there. Ugh. No, I'm not the one you. who fell all over himself. You did. It's called live and learn. You got to learn how to do things. On the I don't think you've ever learned anything. Yeah, I do a stupid stream, which makes me not learn shit, but to be a fucking moron. And you were, yeah, it's not your fault you got banned from Valserve. 
No, it's not my fault. What? Actually, <laughs> it's not. You didn't. You buy what? Three boards, return them, and the last time you didn't have your fly up, and you had your what? You had your wiener out. Oh, bullshit! You Stop it! Whack you had your wiener out there. Liar! You helped people change their tires once and whipped liar, it out. Liar! 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 Why are you lying about me? I don't think so, Perry. Hey, I got something that might cheer you up, Perry. Uh, Tony, now, I don't. Ho I hope I'm not speaking out of school here. And uh, cut me off if I'm getting too personal, please. Because sometimes I, I do have that problem. Um, but I heard that you and your wife are friends with somebody who Perry knows and has had a little bit of a contentious thing with in recent times. Uh, but if you're not comfortable talking about it, that's cool. No, it's okay. Because I think I know who you're going to mention. And we've been talking to her. And? And it's well. Let's let's tell everybody if you if you're okay. Let's turn our cards over and let's 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 talk about who 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 you're friends with. We're friends with um, uh, Fran Dresser. Again, what is that going to help me or is that going to screw me? No, it should help you because we spoke well of you, and she actually knew who you were. Of course, she knows who I am. How come? Because we've known because we've known each other from SAG meetings. Yeah. All right. Well, that she's mentioned that it really wasn't her doing it. It was the other woman. KK? KK. That kind of was the driving force. Fran's problem, I mean. Fran's the president, so. Well, you know, she said she knew you hadn't, you know, murdered anybody in a while. I, in a while? I never murdered anyone ever, ever. Moron. How dare you say I murdered somebody? Sick son of a bitch. What about you, Eric and Big Bear? No, oh, I never murdered any of you, fuck! Get out of my house right now! Get the fuck out of my house! What the fuck, you? You son of a fucking bitch! Get out of my house right now! You're pulling my hair. Get out of my house! Get my out hair. of my house! You're pulling my hair. You never, ever, ever say I murdered my friend! Perry, Get out of my house right you're now! You're pulling my hair. Dude, what are you pulling my hair like a little girl for? What? Listen to me right now. Take, put, put it to your ear. What? <clears throat> you guys are, you, you are both. Evil bastards. I'm sorry. I know you're uh, sorry. Okay, I don't mean to be, be, I don't mean to be, uh, goodbye. I don't mean to be the hair pulling grabbing you. Gets, you know. Okay. The hair pulling. Uh, I mean, oh, shit. Harry, seeing this anger, can you see why I believe if people tell me you murder people? I'm not a murderer. The look I saw in your eye. Right so there, what? Really? Yeah, just, just get, get, get out of my house. Are you telling me you had, I'm, I'm telling you to get out of my house. You had a dream? Tony's not going I anywhere. It was a dream. And and then you just had your hands around my throat. You pulled my hair. Ouch. Where was your other hand? I don't know. See, I'm not going to say where it was, but the stream, I think, can know which direction it was headed. Oh, fucking people. Mm. Ouch. Terrible. Come on. No, I, I ran my foot over. Oh, with what? The chair. Oh, Perry. Look, we're going to have a good stream. Oh, I heard you please. talking about M&Ms. <sighs> Calm down. All right. We're all going to take a big breath. Yeah, Perry, I need, I need five big breaths from you. One. <sighs> Two. Three, four, five. All right, we're all good. I hope. Yeah, we're good. All right, let me get to a couple of Tom's tips here, Perry, if you can uh, avoid assaulting people. Uh, oh, here's, a, here's an offer, Perry, and you're going to accept it because it's $300. So I'll even just do that. And it's very simple. It's... Uh, 
super easy. I'm uh, not cutting up that calendar. It's not the calendar, Perry. By the way, if you didn't, if that was a three hundred dollar offer, you should be. No, I'm not cutting the calendar. Excuse me, I'm talking and you're listening. I'm talking and you're listening. Okay, this is not about the calendar. But if there was a three hundred dollar offer for your calendar, you would you should be locked in a rubber room if you would turn that down because the calendar is worth twenty dollars and that's three hundred dollars. But that's not what this is. Uh, this is uh, some fun with eggs. $300, Perry. I'm not throwing eggs in my home. Yeah, no, Perry, for $300, you're going to listen to this and you're going to accept it, okay? For $300, okay? 300. Zero, zero. Oh, okay? Christ. So just listen. I'm not throwing eggs in my home. I'm not throwing eggs in my home. I'm not throwing eggs in my home. You are going to listen to me, okay? Fucking asshole. Okay, Perry, let's say an egg breaks on the floor. It's easy to clean up. It's $300, 300. I know you're crazy and you're a, a lunatic, but you're not that crazy where you don't understand the value of $300. So let me get this whole thing out and you're gonna listen to me. Okay, st just stop, stop with your facial expressions and everything else and just listen, okay? Perry must catch three eggs using his fedora. Now it doesn't have to be the one you're wearing. It could be any fedora. Uh, Tony, will pitch the eggs and they must come as close to the ceiling as possible uh, in order to count. So it's gotta be a high, it can't be like a little baby, basically what that means is it can't be a little baby toss. It can't be like, you know, like some toss and that- And how many of these eggs are gonna be thrown away and wasted? Okay, Perry, you're just gonna listen here and I'm gonna get through the offer and then we can talk about specifics, okay? I'm just getting through this here. Christ. So, how many eggs? Uh, it doesn't ready? say. I'm I'm still in the middle of reading it. So if you let me get it out, the questions will be answered after. Okay, Tony will pitch the eggs. They have to come close to the ceiling. It just means a high toss, not like a little easy peasy baby toss. Because then one egg. No, hey Perry, you're, you're being quiet now, and I'm talking. Okay, and you're not. You're also not setting the terms. If an egg does not come close enough. To the ceiling, so you know you're not you're not throwing it at the ceiling. You're just making sure it gets near it. Uh, if an egg does not come close enough, Tom can disqualify the throw. Even if Perry catches it, it must be redone. So that's just to say, we're not letting any easy peasy what? like stupid you know tosses uh, go. Okay, and I'll then be he the leaves after because I got a house to clean. You're right, and you can do that after the stream, Perry. And again, I'm not finished. Perry cannot remove the eggs in between catches. So you can't like stop uh, thing. Okay, and here's, and the answer to your question is three. You cannot stop until three eggs are in your hat. So here's here's the deal. It's three eggs. What? Okay. See, if you'd stop talking over me, you, you wouldn't Shut have to up. ask questions like you're doing right now. So stop talking over me and just listen, okay? It's just three eggs. And three eggs have to be clean catches, whether they're broken or unbroken. They have, there has to be three eggs in the fedora caught. If any eggs, okay, Perry, don't bop around. This is the part where you pay attention. See, this is where I have to repeat myself because you're always oh, bopping and darting and talking over me like you're doing right now. Um, three eggs have to be in the fedora and any eggs that land somewhere else, like let's say one lands on the couch or whatever, you can't go darting over and picking them up. You have to focus on the challenge. And you can't stop until the three eggs are in the fedora, and then you can pick up anything else uh, after the fact. Okay? You're not throwing eggs at my couch. You're in the air. To no, no. Spank. I didn't say yeah. he's throwing eggs at you. See, so you're not paying attention. You're not throwing eggs across my house either. Y y yes, he is, because it's three hundred dollars. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! No! I don't give a shit. I don't want your goddamn three hundred dollars. I want him out of my fucking house right now. Because of this shit! I don't fucking want this goddamn garbage done! No! Mother fucking way! Son of a bitch! Tony, you could take over. Okay. Yeah, he, um. Boy, he seems a little worked up today. <laughs> that was a quick one out of the gates, uh, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. So I, I'm listening. Uh, good to be back, everyone. Good to be back. Um, yeah. 
Any, uh, <laughs> I've missed most of the show today, so I haven't even heard besides the fact that, uh, he's been wanting to murder me and then he murdered himself, uh, because of, I think going into the fridge. So I did this. Hey Perry, you want anything out of your fridge? All right, you just gave me a very dirty look. Um, yeah, oh, actually, hold on. Let me uh, check a few things. Hold on. Nope, I was looking for uh, other pizzas and whatnot we thought he might not have found. I was a little displeased that he had thrown away Rufus, the official dog of PCL. And so I brought this one. I don't know what we're going to call him yet, if anybody has any ideas. Um, you ready? Yeah. All right. Four. Perry has accepted the offer, by the way. Hey Perry, take your yeah. take your time in getting back. No rush. No, no. I'm sensing a little hostility today, Perry. Oh my. <laughs> All right, I'll take that as a yes. All right, so we're gonna do this closer uh, to the end. Perry, Perry does have eggs, and again, Perry must catch three eggs in his fedora. I think you should use the one you're wearing. Uh, you know what, you've had that one for a long time. If anything happens to it, God forbid, we replace it. Um, let me just make sure there's no other points I'm missing here. Uh, okay, yeah, we got it. Okay, so Tony, you, you pit, Tony, you're the pitcher. Perry, you're the catcher. I, you know? Yes. Uh, and you... You know what I mean. It's, you could throw underhand, Tony. So ba basically, yeah. Perry, I think Perry... I'm trying to think of where you guys should be. Maybe we can, let me just work this out in my head real quick. Maybe we use the um, the living room cam for this just to get a wider shot. Well, and how about like Perry in this shot back. here, I think maybe No, uh, I'm not Tony... going, going over there. He's going through a fucking egg from over there. Over here, you're insane. No, no, no you're going to I'm not saying, I'm saying no. I. No, no. Excuse it's me. It's all in this this area right here. Yes, probably in this area. In hey this Perry. Area. Hey Only. Perry. Be, pay, I'm Only. the I'm the director. I will decide what area. You, you could you could say what you want to say. I will. But thank I'm you. making the rule. No, about you don't where, make where the rules when we're on the air. I make the rules when we're on the air. It's thrown. Whatever. No, not whatever, Perry. Hey, hey excuse me. But it, anywhere that side of the living room is no no not allowed. Okay, so you ignore whatever Perry's side. saying. No. No, it's it's only to be done right in this area. Yeah, it, it pro hey Perry, this, from from here, turn around. No, no, hey Perry, I'm not listening to you. Whatever well, you're saying now is, when, when is, this is not, area, you're not making the when offer. When we get the area, the eggs, we'll talk about it because I think this I, is the only area. So you no, want it from hey, this Perry, door to this door? You're not making the rules here. You're not making the rules here. Then we end the fucking show right now, and I'm done with the fucking show business. Bullshit all together. You got it? No, you got I it. No, no, you got it. Hey, Perry. Making all the goddamn rules. And if you think you're going to throw me out, fuck you. You hey, fuck. Hey, Perry. Remember what we just talked about. Stop being an animal. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, Perry, to be hey, Perry. Hey, Perry. I'm, I'm just going to mute you. Yeah. You're muted right oh, now. Uh, no one can hear you. Bitch. So just be quiet and listen. Okay? For the three hundred dollars that you will get paid for this, I will be in charge of where it is. Now, I don't want it in the bedroom. I don't want it even in the living room. I'm just looking for camera coverage, okay, and where people should stand. So I think it should go like maybe Tony goes by the kitchen and you go right here, and that's where that's where the toss is. But I will I will figure it out, Perry. You don't have to worry about it. And uh, you better, and Perry, you better collect yourself because if you threaten to quit one more time, I'll turn, I will turn the stream off, and you won't get paid. So test, test me, uh, test me. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get to some Tom's tips. Oh, here, here's a quick offer from Scott Larock, and this is more for Tony. Scott Larock says twenty dollars to Tony to get the decibel meter up and running and get a reading on Perry's volume. I think that's gonna be a problem because I think it requires batteries that Perry doesn't have. Oh. 
um, he's got some batteries. Does he? What oh, decibel? where's the decibel meter that you got that last week? There? Oh, this thing? Yeah. No, this is uh, blood pressure? Yeah. No, that's, that's, Perry doesn't know what he's talking about. It, it's okay. a decibel right. meter that he got last week. It, it would be maybe on the other side where that doll is, where that knitted doll. Knitted doll? No, on the other side, like where, where Perry's this... looking. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, like what maybe somewhere over there. God. Perry, you got a lot of lube. All this obnoxious crap. I don't. <laughs> no, no. Decibel meter over yeah. here. Yeah. That's a stupid disco ball. Yeah. Huh. What the decibel right, meter? Let's move on. I, Perry's too stupid to figure that out. Mm -hmm. It was oh, a decibel wait, meter. If you happen to see it, we can come back to it. But I'm Before not I forget, I brought this. For what? Well, I was talking to the guy about the uh, stadium seating. There's no stadium seating. Jerk off! Oh yeah, he was oh, asking for the measurements. My hole. No, hold on. What are you doing? Measuring. Here, come here. Hold this. Hold this. You're not. I got it. I got it. Say there. See, we got it. Okay, seven feet. Seven feet. Three feet. All right. All right. That should be pretty good for now, the. Now, Tony, in, in your estimation. What can happen, in, Jack? For the stadium seating, you think we can get two tiers in there? No, such. Fucking thing is stadium seating in my home. It's my home. My couch stays where it is. Anyway, Tony, do you think you, you think the guy was saying that he can get three Jesus layers in there? I think me. it's probably just going to be two tiers. There's no fucking I mean, way. Yeah, if people have long legs. No way. How they this is a, this is my home, not a fucking stadium. I mean, with the risers and everything, you know. Yeah. This is my home, not a stadium. No, but just stadium seating. Stadium seating is not allowed in my apartment. Now, what do you think? Understood? Uh, do you think drink holders or no drink holders? Or can we squeeze no in another seat? No fucking yeah. way will stadium seating ever be created in my home. Because people can uh, serve themselves out of the uh, kitchen. Yeah. No, they're not allowed. Yeah. To in. You're, and you're not allowed in my home ever again either. This is the last time you're allowed here. Perry, don't you want a live studio <laughs> audience to be able to enjoy this in person? They're not in my apartment! Go fuck off! This is not a studio, it's a studio apartment! Well, it has studio in the name, it was meant to be it's a studio. It's called a, an apartment! Studio. Studio apartment! But it's studio, it's... Studio it's not a studio Look, for fucking... To be studio honest, studio. I, like saw, I saw a couple of the designs, and one of the designs they completely ripped out the kitchen counter and made it like a buffet table, kind of like a green room spread with like potato chips and like, you know, shrimp cocktail, like little finger sandwiches and things like that. You know, that that can be looked at too. So if, at some point, if you can measure the counter there, just to see. Okay. I not allowed jack off. This is an apartment complex. Things like that will never be allowed here. God, you're a fucking idiot. And to make more room, I'm thinking of mounting the microwave to the wall here next to the screen. That's not happening? Yeah. That's never fucking happening. Why? Oh, look at that wasted space. There's a lot of wasted space in his apartment, oh, I will say. Jesus Christ. Whatever. Anyway, we can talk about it. I'll get those. If you can get those measurements to me, uh, Tony, I'll get it to the guy. We'll have some revised uh, <sighs> updates. Okay. I got some Tom's tips to get through, Perry, if you don't mind. Uh, this one is from Frank from New Orleans. Hey, Perry, it's your old pal Frank from New Orleans. What now? Right, can you put your Fred Sanford hand down and pay attention? Cause, no, uh, no, I'm hurting too no, much. I, I'm asking you to do it, Perry. I'm asking you to pay attention. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what? I'm... I'm just waiting for you to pay attention. Thank you. Hey, Perry, it's your old pal Frank from New Orleans. I hope you are well behaved on today's stream. Well, Frank must have wrote this a little earlier in the day. Uh, you missed the morning portion of the misery that I had to go through today. Anyway, so you're always telling people that they can't buy stuff on your walls, like your worthless grocery store diploma and pictures of you barely being able to skateboard. Uh, but I bought your license plate from your wall with no problem. So I'd like to tell everyone out there, yes, it is possible. 
Everything in Perry's apartment is for sale. Is not also. for sale. Trust me, not I know firsthand. For fucking sale. Press one if Perry's stuff is for sale. Press two if not. Good talk, bro. Frank in New Orleans. Uh, you did sell uh, Frank your license plate uh, sometime. No, ago. I did not. You it did. He has it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, Perry. don't let him dart away. Perry, come on. No. He, he wants to eat this roach. He wants to what? There's a there's a cockroach that was on his C4. Oh my god, really? Yeah. There, that yeah. Was in the garbage Hold on, let me see okay. if I can get him on the. Uh... I think he ate it. <laughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. <laughs> How many? Was that? Uh, have you seen that roach before? Where's he going now? Perry, come on. Let me turn the garbage disposal on. I'll fucking destroy that roach so it doesn't crawl out of there again. <laughs> again. Wow. Talk about not learning a lesson. Never! Barry, that's good! Oh my god. Has he been like this all morning? No, he started no. out like, it's been, I don't know, he started out okay, I mean, kind of okay, and then he just, yeah, whatever, you know, it, you know what it was? It, there was one Tom's tip that just set him off and it's you know it was off to the races since then Sh hey perry didn't your apartment back? complex tell you that the next time you break your garbage disposal you'll have to pay for the maintenance because you don't know how to use a garbage disposal whatever yeah whatever okay. so however much that will be um not that i don't i think a cockroach can handle the uh usually that's a bad sign when you have a cockroach crawling around right <laughs> That's kind of a bad sign. <laughs> whatever. Okay. That's your answer to everything. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. I mean, come on. Who, who didn't know he? I mean, Perry. I, did you think you had bugs? With all this shit on my desk. I, it was Whose fault is that? Desk. Keeping a dirty desk. Huh? Whose fault is that? If you have a dirty desk. Me. Nobody okay, has more I'm, free time than you to clean. Yeah, I've I've got. The only free time just to go to the doctors and get out of my house. Maybe you have all. Perry, nobody is less busy than you. You have plenty of time to clean. Anyway, I'm going to move on to another Tom's tips. This one is for from the real Yergi. Perry, don't even worry about Looney Fran and crazy Kathleen. You have an entire audience that is here for you because we love you and want to see you. Thanks for being a gentleman and tapping me on the back. Well, you can thank uh, Real Yergi for no, writing this. No, I say that, okay? Yeah. Uh, your stream uh, brightens up a lot of people's days and gives people hope. You mean you're going to be nice to me now, Yergi? Are you serious? Fran and Kathleen are just jealous about you finally becoming successful after years and years of tough breaks. You have yeah, finally yeah. made it work as a streamer, and people are jealous of that success. Don't ruin it. You're an actor, Perry Caravello, and no one can take that away from you. Not even Fran and KK. Well, they took it away by taking my SAG after card, so I need to get that back. Get your wife to get that back. For okay, me. but wait. You know, part of what Fran was working for was uh, the successful streamers were going to collect 75% of the market share. And she, it was her understanding that you were against that. What in yeah. the hell are you talking about? You didn't think that the actual person on air deserved the most, like the people behind the scenes. What in the F are you talking about? That's what was told. See, because more people like the lie to these people that know nothing about my private life or about my stream. So you, Lie, again. You do want them. to collect the 75 I would love to collect the money if there's money coming to me. Yeah, when there's money coming... Of course I want to collect the money. It's like telling a bank robber, you don't get this cash, even though it's free, you don't get it. Mm. Please. Have you ever robbed a bank? I just made that oh. dumbass remark just to be a sarcastic scumbag. Okay, bag. okay. All right, next Tom's tip. This is Craig from the Tow Company. Perry, this is Craig from the Tow Company again. Last week, you prevented our driver from lawfully taking your car, which now belongs to our client, Kathleen Kennedy. I tried to send my driver back out to take your worthless car, but he broke down crying 
and told me that you threatened to suck his penis so hard that you'll drain all of the blood from his body and you'll use his foreskin like dental floss. He was completely terrified and refused to return. Like Be advised that if you continue your homicidal gay sex vampire behavior, we'll be forced to contact your boss, Jim, and we'll confiscate your fridge as Jim, well. I've also reported you person. to the relevant authorities for dreaming about murdering Tony Hawk. Surrender the car at once, you goon. car is never to be surrendered. It's my late mom's car given to me when she passed. Okay? Yeah, I had a truck that got rear-ended by a jag off and a big Dodge Cummins turbo diesel fucking monster of a vehicle that just totaled my truck. I miss that vehicle as well. So no, mom's car does not go anywhere. It stays in stays in the parking space where it is right now. If it's towed away, somebody's going to be sued and sued drastically. Oh, well, you're not suing anybody. You're not. Uh, this next one. Oh, stop it. This next one is from our friend Lou so, Sasshole. He's a nice guy. Whatever. Okay. It says, hey, Perry. It says, hey, Perry. AI is amazing. I typed in 1992 and look what it created. Please see attached art. And there is attached art to this. Okay. Okay. He said, AI is amazing. He typed in 1992, and this is what came back. That's... Kind, yeah, I could... That's not me. You sure? I'm nowhere near that fucking big. <laughs> you slob. I mean, that might... Oh, my God. <laughs> Gross. And I don't wear a fucking big ass beard or mustache like that no i've seen you in, in a beard that was a long time ago for a short time no i i, I would never look like that you know we, we should get a coffin behind you. all right here you're sick no it's just for the effect. you're sick the effect you're still sick Ugh. you know like the boat was there that 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 that's done. All that. I know. No more done. boats. We'll just get a blow up coffin. A blow up coffin. Well, all right. How about we'll get a pine box? Oh, God. You know they're not expensive, and and I, I earn for your ashes. Jesus Christ! It's never too early to plant. Bye. That's true. Here is one Bye. from our friend Girthquake. Thank you for being my darling peanut butter pirate last stream. It's really amazing how you are willing. How willing you are to do the most demonic, degrading, demoralizing stunts. Randy taught you well, my peanut butter bitch. Love you. Sick. Fuck. Um, and by the way, I, I just want to just reiterate the um, the offer from Scott. That if you if you do find the decibel meter at some point, uh, that would be nice. But I, I know it's going to be. Is there a gate? An order? A big order at the gate? Why do you say that? I, I saw it scroll by. Oh, I haven't heard anything. And okay. um, if you want to check, Tony, you can. I don't see yeah. anything at the door. But if you want to like, check, check real quick, quick. I, I didn't get any official notifications. Hey, Perry, while Tony's out, can you like maybe make a commitment like not to physically assault him again? Because that, that's a bad look. Uh, I try. Oh. I don't know what, what I, I. You know when when you. When you when you um, do a reaction because of a, like 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 when you're when you're touching a hot stove and you move your hand yeah, but if he does something that, that freaks me out I well you can yell at him and tell him you don't like that but you, it doesn't give you a right to put your hands on somebody especially pulling hair that's for girls. I did pull my hair a little. Perry. I'm sorry. Now what? Well, I think you'll enjoy this. Oh okay. It I'm is. not eating it. I'm not eating it. I mean, let's see let's what's just in see here what it is. You. Yeah. Here, when you pulled my hair, it reminded me of when my child was like three and he'd look up at me. I'm not fucking eating it. <gasps> look at that. I don't fucking care. What? Have you had a quarter pounder today? No. 
on your reading, Perry. How about you just open and take a oh, bite? Oh, Jesus Christ. You like those. Oh, fuck. Look at that. You got it. Now show the stream. Okay. Somebody was very nice. Somebody was nice. Send me a quarter pounder with cheese and ketchup. Okay? Oh, so, may no so maybe, so maybe no you pickles. owe the stream an apology for your despicable behavior when Tony came out. Thank you yeah. for the for the quarter pounder. I'm not eating the sandwich. Okay, but you're a little you hungry. You can have that. Okay, you can have that. That's for you. Okay, I'll have this. You have that. Thanks. Okay. All right. This. All right. Hold on. Take a bite. Hmm. Right? Mm hmm We're all going to be happy campers now. Finally. See, I think that's all maybe right. why he was so cranky he hadn't eaten. Definitely. Want me to get you a beverage? No, I'm Mars all over here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's fine. On the McDonald's quarter pounder scale. Yeah. It'll pass. It's kind of warm. It's not hot. Mm, seven five star, seven three star. Five zero star. Really? But this is on the McDonald's scale. It's in the middle. Okay. Wow. I think uh, we got to get a cleaning lady in here, Perry. No. Why? I'm the cleaning lady. Well, you're going to get fired. Because, I mean, this. With that cockroach, that's that's just filth, floor, and filth. I got found the cockroach and I threw it in the garbage disposal. Maybe we should, like, let open a bag of cockroaches in here mm -hmm. and see how many live. I don't have any roaches with me. It was a suggestion. It's just like your dream. Don't step on this. You know, or how about a bunch of those, like, what are they called, horse flies? Fuck you! What? I got a nappy right here. How about silkworms? Because then they can make cocoons. You can get some silk. You want to fucking poison my apartment with, with, with insects? No. They're, they're fine. They'll eat the Insects They'll are eat not the allowed... To fucking destroy me or get me thrown out of here. No, but they eat the filth. You know what he could really use is some spiders. That really takes care of everything. <laughs> we could get a whole new terrarium habitat going in here. No insects, no bugs, no fucking animals in my home. For Halloween. That'll be the, like the most well-fed <laughs> spider in all of the valley. Hey! Christ. We're, we're just brainstorming here. Is this, is this the sound meter? That's the empty box for this thing to sit on top. Oh, what is that? This feels like something in here. What is this? A Satan. Oh, well, you got to have this out. I don't want that out. Who Ugh. Who's this? Oh, that's adorable. Here. Yeah. I don't want that around. All right. Well, I'll, I'll take it on my way. I'll put it right here for now so I don't forget it. It's Give me the box, oh, Jagoff! Why? Because I use it for this! No. It sits up here! No, this, this, the Satan came out of it. This sits like that! Oh, for the, for the... But you, that's not working today, Perry, because now it blocks Tony, so just leave it down. Okay. Dumbass. All right. Fucking thief. This is true. I know for a fact you and Jeffrey Dahmer were lovers. I, I never knew the guy. We were lovers, and you killed all those other homosexuals because you were jealous, and Jeff took the blame. Yeah, in your dreams, loser. I mean, but can you see how it would be easy for your people to think? Your lies that you and disgust and moronic garbage makes me ill. Makes me fucking ill. I, I want the stream to end. I don't want to hear that out of your mouth again today, Perry. I I well then end 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 end. 
S&P 500 up 9%, 0 0.09%. We all know Perry Blue Randy in your fucking dreams. Why does he continue to deny it? Because when you have a hand and it goes, you're going to call this, this? No. He blew me, loser. Just a minute, Perry. You, uh, just a minute, Perry, and everyone will move on. No one cares. They just bring it up because uh, uh, you keep lying and saying it didn't happen because I only tell the truth about that disgusting, degrading, demoralizing matter that happened to me. Uh. Okay, now I don't like to revisit this, but just one thing, Perry, can we agree on this? The best kind of hand jobs are the ones where they use their hand and mouth. I don't use my mouth for the best type of hand job because that means blow job. All right. I would right. never, I would never ever go down that degrading, demoralizing road ever again and stop smiling because it's not fucking funny. Me? Yeah, you. I'm not smiling. Uh, some people just know how to be on camera, Perry, unlike you. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Whatever. Tom B. told me that ripping off Francis's diaper and poking him in the poop shoot is allowed. What? Fuck you. I'm not, I, I won't do that. You better not. Okay, oh, I just told you I won't. <laughs> Stupid whack job. Unless Jim says I can. <sighs> oh, that, please. Nestle was named after its founder, Henry Nestle. He did spell his name with an L like a man. Well, the word man does not have the letter L in it, so I don't know what you mean by like a man. Nestle, he did spell his name with an L like a man. Uh, okay. Perry, tomorrow's my B-Day. Jim said I could stop by and pick out something from your apartment as a gift. I think I want the trophy or credenza. Good luck. You're going to give away those as a birthday gift? I said gift? good luck. Oh. Never going to happen. Well, what are you going to give him? Nothing. Because oh. he's not coming in. I won't even be here, so. See ya. Where are we going tomorrow? We? Or, yeah. Okay, we, if it's going to be we, you're taking me to Mammoth. We're not going to Mammoth. I'll take you to this uh, bunny slope. To the bunny slope over here? Yeah. You're buying gas? You're yeah. driving? Yeah. What time are you picking me up? 7.30 p.m. 7.30 a.m.? No. P.m.? Fuck you. Yeah, they have lights. Perry, when your mother used to give you enemas, did she sing to you? Is that why you get choked up when women speak to you? Because your butt tingles? What? This pervert is <laughs> like the most degrading disgust ever. No, you jag off. I had a stomach issue. I was 10 years, I was at like between eight and 10 years old. Uh, the one time it happened. Back in Arlington Heights, Illinois. The one and only time it happened. Hey Perry, I got I just I got an offer here and it, it it's not via gym, which is where they usually come. Hey Perry, straight ahead. Yeah, I don't know why you keep looking down. That's not where the stream is. I'm not looking down, I'm fucking Well you are looking down. Moving my neck. Okay, well stop. I have neck neck problems. Okay. Stop. Well, yeah, man, like, man up, please, because you're, you're doing your job. Ugh. God, you really are like an animal. Uh, this is an offer that came uh, direct to me uh, from somebody named Jack. Now, I say this is very low, so I'm not going to say you should accept this offer, but it, it is an offer nonetheless. 
And I'm wondering if there's a dollar amount where you would do this for, because I don't think I've ever heard this one come into the stream in the time that we've done it. It's a very obvious thing. What is it? I'm sorry. It's a long setup for me to say. This guy says, hey, I'll give Perry $100 to shave his head. An extra 25 if I can do it. No. Yeah, I, I would obviously say no that's, to that. That's $1,000. A thousand dollars, maybe a hundred thousand dollars. I will never again shave my head. When did you do it ever? I did it in Palm Springs after my big accident. I did, did it. You? Yes, because I was involved with with uh, some punk rock friends and stuff. Okay, well, look, that's a big, big deal. I don't honestly, to me. I don't even think a thousand cuts it. Uh, yeah, hundred thousand. Forget about it. that's ridiculous. But you were so you did say maybe a thousand. So I'm saying there is like, like the million dollar man once said, everybody's got a price. So yeah. if you were to shave your head, which I'm not recommending, because you got to do a movie in to May. Shave my head. You got to buy me a brand new Toyota Four Runner. Okay, no, no, see, no, no. Let's not get off the reservation with craziness, Perry. Thousand dollars. No, that's not going to happen. Let, let's let's be reasonable. Obviously. Obviously, it's not going to happen anytime soon. If it ever did, because you have to, you have filming commitments uh, right. in May, and then uh, possibly not again in the summer. Okay, I can't hear you when you talk over me. What did you just say? I says, and, and they want my hair long for that film commitment. Yes, they want you to look like you. You can't show up on a set where they, they hired you for a job, and you know uh, you have a shaved head. Like that a, would be that would be insane. So no, we're not. We, we, we wouldn't do that, but. Everybody's got a price, so I'm just wondering what that would be if, if in the future. How long does it take? I don't even know. Tony, have you ever shaved your head? I've never done it. Completely bald? No, I have had a, you know, flat top. Like a, like a crew, like a crew cut. Like let's say that. Yeah, when I was like a teenager, like you said, uh, yeah, like like maybe 12, 13. Okay. How long does it take for that to grow back? I don't even three to five years. No, that's not true. This length? No. Yeah. No. No. You can have your length of hair uh, probably in a year. Yeah, because it, it took him up yeah. when, when he grew when he started growing out because he had that ridiculous short haircut for for a few years, uh, and now he he grew it out. And are you cutting the length now? Or are you still letting it grow, Perry? Me? Yes. No, it, uh, Sheila shapes my hair every time. No, I understand that, but are you are you now cutting the length? Are you at the desired length? Are you now cutting the length? She. You know, she dyes the hair and it needs to be dyed. Yes, I know it's the, dyed, Perry. I'm talking about the length. Does the length The get... length, she keeps it at a certain length. Okay, so she does cut it. the present length. Okay, people say six months. That would Give be a very... Take. Look, honestly, I would probably, just me personally... Between six and nine months. I would say no to that offer only because it could cost Perry outside work. Where they they're not hiring a you know yeah. a bald guy, they're hiring the you know Perry with the crazy hair. So it would have to be a considerable uh, amount for Perry to shave his head. I think that that's my opinion, Perry. I don't you know. Again, a hundred thousand dollars or forget it. Yeah, I'm losing money be. every single day by by just streaming and and getting myself in trouble streaming like I did today. Uh, and and losing money like I lost last Monday. Thousands of dollars I lost last Monday. So I wouldn't I, w money. I wouldn't say thousands of dollars, Perry. But you, you, I say when, thousands. When, when of you dollars. when you when you come on with a bad attitude, you chase people away. I did hear from, you know, not not to get on a different topic, but I did hear from several people that are dedicated PCL people, and they say, you know what, I had to stop watching because of Perry's horrible attitude. And I heard that from more than one person. Um, so, but anyway, on a separate, on a separate level here, I don't think, yeah, I, I, I just don't think it, it's, it's a possibility because I think, I think the monetary, uh, amount that would be satisfactory would be almost impossible would, to raise. It would ruin me. To I don't know if it would ruin you, but would you consider, what, what about, a lot of people have asked me since we're on the topic. Uh, would you consider growing a beard again? No. For a Why? short time. Well, I mean, no. assuming you get paid for it for a short time, you know, not. No, I've I've won it, did it again. I had a beard years ago, and I did it again for this stupid stream. 
I'm not growing another fucking beard again. Okay. All right. I'm just having, we're just having a conversation. That's it. Okay. <sighs> I, I thought that was interesting since uh, since it came in. God. Yeah. Do that. It. You know. How about stop shaving your chest? No. You did. Didn't you do that? <laughs> I'm, now I'm losing track. Didn't we do that? <laughs> didn't you grow your hair back on your chest for a short time? I I. I shave all the time. I. All right. Sculpts. How about this, Perry? And I'm, I'm just spitballing here. What about a mustache? Just a mustache. No other facial hair. Like a, like a handlebar I can, mustache. I can grow a mustache, but I don't even want to grow a mustache. I'm right. I know you I... don't want to, Perry. I'm saying if you were paid for a short period of time. Oh, what's the pay? I don't know. What's I mean, the pay to grow a mustache? I don't know. Let's say it's a thousand dollars. Hundred bucks. Thousand dollars. Yeah. About fifty thousand dollars, so I can get my forerunner. Oh, okay, hey, Perry, I, 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 again, I want you out of imagination <laughs> land and into reality. That would never happen. But I'm saying, if you grow a handlebar in... mustache and actually maintained it for like you know two months or so, handlebar yeah, out the air? No, no, not out, to, not out to there. Not, 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 not that ridiculous. I don't think you could possibly. I don't think you could grow that. No, I, when I grow a mustache, I grow it, 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 come, it comes down and around like yeah, this. Yeah, that's, that's that's a handlebar. Yeah. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not talking like some like you know, uh, you know, 1920s. I've known maybe. people. I've known guys. In my uncle Joe, he he used to have a mustache, and he grew it out to where he would put like um, wax, the the, the, right. the gel into his mustache and and and, and twist it every morning and and have gel in his freaking. He he would look like a cat with with uh, whiskers, out out the here. So yeah, he he did that for a while. We can do that. Put super glue in it, so you no, don't have to do it. Oh God! And then um, I really think that pine box coffin in the back. No and we can paint way it, maybe put possible on it. ever, ever, ever would I ever allow a coffin in my apartment? Ever? Is there a coffin ever allowed in my home? Okay. Well, it so, sounds like uh, head shavings off the table, mustache possibly. And uh, and Jim reminds me that we definitely did the uh, the chest thing because remember we were watching your clip from uh, when you were on America's Funniest People as Velcro Man. Yeah. Back in the uh, back in 1990, yeah. was it? I remember that? That was in 80. It was early 90s. 80... 88 or 89. No, that wasn't on the air back then. It was early 90s for sure. 1990, 90, 90, 91 or two, the latest. Yeah, it was 91 or two. Anyway, Perry was, if, for those that don't know, Perry was this guy, a Velcro man. And uh, if I had a clip here, I'd play it. But uh, where Perry had the big hairy chest and uh, people yeah, would throw yeah, balls yeah, at him and it would stick to the thing. Anyway, then right. you had an offer where you, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we'll move right yeah. along. Thank you for subscribing. By the way, Tony, I meant to ask. You were uh, sorely missed on New Year's Eve. Uh, where were you, by the way? Do you, oh, I was up in Pismo. Oh, okay, a lot of people were asking, where's Tony on New Year's Eve? Uh, I, surfing. I, yeah, I was up there. I, I did do some surfing with the family. I didn't even think when we planned that trip. Um, you don't have to yes. plan your life around PCL, of course. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Great place to go surfing. Yeah. You should go with us next time. Maybe. I try to get to him to the beach every weekend, and you always find an excuse why not to come. Yeah, because I didn't, number one, I don't have a wetsuit. So, uh, in this time of year, you need a wetsuit. I actually really um, want Perry to, I didn't have time to teach him, but he's got a GoPro now, and he's got like a, he's got like a chest mount. I, I would love if you and Perry could go quote unquote surfing and get some footage out of that. That would be fantastic. We can do that easily. But why would I? Perry, Randy offered you an acting gig for the blowjob you gave him in '92. Therefore, I never gave any guy a fucking blowjob. Black job. You're a gay male whore. I never gave a guy a blowjob. You whack job. So fuck you, you lying scumbag. Oh God. It's okay. No, it's not okay. All these de. Despicable lies, lies, lies. Tired of it. Cheers to you. Yeah, thanks for the thousand cheers. 
Ali, you're a good girl. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, Soviet goat. Don't you like him? No, he's a jerk. Oh. Treats me like shit all the time. When my dog does something wrong, I always say not allowed here. Thanks, Perry. Hmm. I'm not your dog. <laughs> what? He's not talking about you. That's what it sounds like. Oh, uh, Garrett, by the way, you, wanna, you know how people have superpowers? Garrett's superpower is if we're talking about something... Uh, he'll have a clip for it within seconds, and of course, uh, no different now. We got we do have a clip of Velcro Man for anybody who's ever missed it. Uh, this is Perry. Hold on, let me get the sound on here. Um, By day, this is Perry. Let me um, see if I can get it a little bigger. So, set this up, Perry. You were doing this, at how did you get in, get a hold of the America's Got Talent people or funniest America's, America's funniest people? America's Funniest People came over to the L.A. Cabaret in Encino when the L.A. Cabaret uh, was a comedy club in Encino. And they did uh, they did a uh, taping over there. And um, I went as Velcro Man. And I got... Uh, you came up with uh, Velcro Man on your own? Yeah. That's pretty good. Well, it, it kind of happened with uh, one of my coworkers at the print shop called me Velcro Man with uh, the Harry... Stomach and hairy chest I had. All right. All right, well, here it is. This is Perry. He was on TV, and I think we figured out. I think it was like 91 or 92, but anyway. At night, I'm a long-distance trucker. By day, I'm Velcro Man. <laughs> Velcro Man. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's not bad, Pear Bear. At night, I'm a long-distance trucker. Why did you say actually, that? Were you, were you actually doing trucking? I was. My day job was being a delivery driver for my family's printing business. But that's so not I a long distance Santa. trucker. You said. But the long distance trucking was when I worked for Amway in Santa Ana and was delivering uh, Amway orders to all the people in from Orange County to Los Angeles County to San Diego County. So yeah, I was That's trucking. Not really long distance, but well, it was long distance. It, it was long distance for the three and counties. A little, that little bit of embellishment, but that's okay. By day, uh, I'm Velcro Man. <laughs> that's pretty. Funny. I think you look better with a hairy chest. I do. You're a guy. I think it's more natural. I do. I think it's yeah. like on certain people. I think somebody like like myself. I'm very pale. I think. Pain in the uh, no ass. hair looks better, but I think on Perry, he's kind of like, you know, he's got that like swarthy, you know, olive oil, you know, um, Mediterranean skin. Maybe. Yeah, I think it looks better, but that's just one man's opinion. We, we can go tanning soon. This no, summer. we're not going tanning and we're not doing anything stupid. At the beach? Not with you. Why not? Because you're not a chick. Oh my God, Perry. I like my women. I prefer being with my girls. Tired of the quacks. But. <sighs> Want to go snowboarding or, sk or Thank skiing you, Matt, with me? Thank for winning the bid to smash Perry's skateboarding pictures with a total bid of $1,200. Fuck you! Smash it you. all in $626. Fuck you! Fuck you! Should I bring it over here? No! So can... You stay right the fuck there! Right. Fuck you! God damn! Smash everything in Perry's home. No, we do, we don't care. We're fucking his life up and fucking all of his items up. Fuck you. We're gonna work on this attachment thing, Perry. What attachment thing? Uh, what are you talking about? It holds you back in life. Well, what holds me back in life? You're attached uh, to these my, items. The, the item that is my life, my my pictures no, of me. Your life is here now and moving forward. I'm not leaving this apartment complex. No, Anytime soon. I'm not moving out of here. Anytime soon. You ever do Bikram yoga? Oh, God. Do you know who I'm talking about? Who's that? Bikram. I think you would really like his teachings. No. Follow what he would do. Not interested. All right. We'll, we'll work on it. Not interested. 
Life partner, apologize. I tried to I keep Tina away from you. I tried to get you bones. I tried to convince you to give in to I did was love you. I don't know who you are, so don't call me your life partner. Your your fake name is not your real name, so whatever your G-I-I-3 means, I, I don't know who you are, so go away. Stupid bullshit. Don't ever call me your life partner, whack job. Probably some gay guy in Hollywood. I'm gonna fuck my life up. Got enough assholes that want to fuck my life up. Well, if you ever... And now look at who's on my stream. Who? Fran Drescher. Oh, okay. If you keep crying and acting like a baby back bitch... Oh, now he moves that, just so I don't see it. Stop um, looking over there, Perry. You, you're looking over here. You're looking dead ahead. Stop Stop looking and getting distracted. Were you saying something, Tony? Um, I don't even remember now. Yeah, see how you, you're darting and uh, distractions uh, derail the street. Stop looking over there. Look straight ahead. Gina, horse, hey. horoscope oh. Carano. Perry, Perry, if you are going to get back with Elon and um, KK, you know, don't drive to Hollywood. Only drive somewhere closer to deliver them Arby's. I'm not picking up Arby's for anybody. Even if I'm not getting, I'm not spending my money and buying food for anybody. If they're not at a restaurant with me, fuck them. They're not eating the fucking food, you jerk offs are trying to get me to deliver the, to another fucking maniac location, like a nightclub, 8865 Santa Monica Boulevard. Fuck you. That fucking fast food garbage bullshit. And I know you're laughing at me I'm because not. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, Perry's <laughs> only done that twice, Tony. Let's not make it like it's a twice regular thing. Twice is more than too many times. Yeah. Yeah, once was enough. The second time was even worse than the first time. Yeah. Fool him once, At shame on Gina. Time. Fool him twice, shame on him. Fool him three times. <laughs> All right, not Arby's. You'll get a McDonald's. Or... I'm not going to any fucking, any fast food restaurant, even Farmer Boys. I'm not even going there for, for you people. If I go to any restaurant of any sort, uh-uh. I am with you physically like I'm with this guy physically right here, right now. I'll go with you next time. <clears throat> yeah, and you and I sit there and eat. No, I thought we would deliver. To who? Elon and, <clears throat> you know, people. Elon and whoever the fuck is with Elon yeah. can go get their food themselves. I'm not buying them food. All right. I'm not doing it. Not again. No. Never again. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Please. Ugh. Oh, Perry, uh, just, I, I guess Jim didn't know that you were stopping this, but he just let me know that he did promise a fan that after the stream today, you would deliver him Taco Bell. He's on Sunset Boulevard. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Deliver any fucking moron a Take fucking Taco Bell. Fuck you! Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. It's not that far. I don't give a shit. I'm not doing it. Fuck you. Fucking. Thank you for you. subscribing. So what? I don't. I don't fucking care anymore. Hey, garbage mouth. That's somebody subscribing. So say thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. You live in that neck of the woods. Yeah, that's you why can, we'll go together. Can, I'm not going with you, though. Well, I'll drop you off, and you can take the bus back. I'm not getting on a bus. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Drop me off. I don't take the bus back. Forget it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. <sighs> and again, thank you for the first diapers, because boy, they work more great. Thank you to Sketch317 for his maximum bid of $1,800 to smash all the drawers in the credenza.
We will smash Go it all at 626. Yourself. That one? Not allowed ever, you want ever. Me to bring him. Yo! I'm not, not just gonna go up. touch my goddamn just dresser. Like your You're not gonna touch just the goddamn like your dresser. Dream, I'm asking a question. Did I move? No. That God, Perry, you dream about murdering me. Should I really be concerned? Just, just go home. No, I want to be serious here. My dra- my mom's bedroom dresser. Do not touch it ever. Even if you're going to smash it. Do not touch it ever. Nothing in that goddamn bedroom dresser. It's got to be fucking up, fucked up. Because it sounded like you were going to smash it. I'm not smashing nothing. All right. All right. All right. Okay. God, I'm fucking mighty. Stop it already. You're trying to get me to stop swearing. That's almost impossible. Just give in to Satan. You only suffered with hairball. Give in to Satan. Move to Florida. Smoke. Allow the crazy gay Easter egg hunt at Studio 102. Fucking low life, fucking Florida, and keep it. Hey, Barry. Hey, hey. Yeah, goddamn moron. Stop. I'm not going to leave California ever. Unless I go to Colorado to visit my nephew or to Arizona to visit my childhood best friend. End of story. No, it's not the end of story. You're actually going. If if unless I uh, unless I call it off, you're going to a film set uh, in May. So that's a lie. And Perry, stop talking. Oh, excuse me. Stop talking over me and stop talking over comments. Okay. Thank you. You got that trash mouth. And fix your fedora. It's casting too much of a shadow. You might like Florida. I hate Florida. They have senior citizen nudist colony. Yeah. You'd like that. Go away, loser. Senior citizen nudist colonies. It's not a mountain in Florida to go snowboarding on or ski. So no, I don't like that. Oh, uh, that's not true. Uh, northern Northern well, Florida is filled with mountains. You have no idea what you're talking about. Well, whatever. Thank you, Mark skiing. Lang, for bidding three thousand dollars to change the door hinge on Perry's fridge and then smash it to pieces. No, we will smash no. it all on six twenty six. No, 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 no. These no. aren't bad offers. No, 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 no. Oh my God Almighty! Stop this crap. Can I, Tom, can I just point out one thing? Please. Yes, he, he has gotten so much better since he ate that quarter pounder. You know what? You're 100% right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I, I so can feel, better. Perry, because, you know, I was talking about attachment and metaphysical things. I can feel your aura because we have a special connection. You do. And it, it's almost green. No, seriously, Perry, you're in a much better mood now than you were when I first got here. Whatever. Don't you think so? No. Yeah, uh, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. I, I think he was just hangry. <sighs> he was hangry. So do you need another snack? Thank you to Consensual92 for your bid of $5,000 to smash Perry's Entertainment Center with the Windy City Heat Trophy. We will smash it all on oh. 626. Go fuck yourself! Yeah, that's an important trophy. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Both of these trophies are important to me. God. That, that's one thing. I That's an award. If you're smashing anything, smash the credenza. Go fuck you, too. Get out of my house. I, I said do not smash. I said do not smash your trophies. They're very good. My mom's, my late mom's oh, bedroom right. dresser, that piece of wood is not to be touched. I'm sorry. I didn't even know I said that. Okay. God, help, please. I'm here to help. I You're am. not here to help. You're here to like make things worse. No. He's here to make you 300 bucks because he's doing that toss yeah. with you in a little bit. And he leaves. How about you show up for work on time, you lazy fuck? Men holding hands, men holding hands, men holding hands. 
Men holding hands. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't that's what you want to call it. Nice. Everyone is invited to Perry's Crazy Gay Easter Egg Hunt March 31st. Find Perry's medication and trade it in for any of his personal possessions. What's this? No one is allowed in my home on a day I will not be here. Good day. Ay, 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 ay. Wait, Tony, how much time do you have? I don't want to keep you if you're uh, pressed on time. I'm sorry. I am a little today. Um, you know, I, I got probably I can do another hour. Okay, cool. Okay. So we'll get to the uh, toss thing within the hour. You know what? what can we, can you, Tony, can you get, uh, there's a big box somewhere in his place that I saw, a flat box somewhere that was by the couch. Can you look for that and possibly yeah. see if we can open that? It's right there. Right, right next to you. Right there this one yeah this? maybe that's the one yeah let's see if we can open this okay hold on hold on let me do it just like i said i don't want to slip i'm here to help perry I want to oh ooh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move your hand, it's, it's taped. There we go, we're gonna move this. We're gonna move this. I'll help here and then I'll clean up while you present, okay? Because I, I wanna leave okay. your place cleaner than when I arrived. That'll ever happen, I doubt. Why? Oh, this looks not, I don't even know what it is, but it looks good. That goes in the garbage. This is not bad. It goes in the garbage. When did you take that picture, Perry? I, I don't recognize that. I never took a picture like this. It goes hey. in the trash. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't. No, it does No. Hey, Perry. You just cost yourself about. Perry, somebody would have bought that for you, you moron. You sold that for $1,000. Take, take it out of the trash, Tony. Yeah. I mean, Perry, you could have I would have signed it with you. And boy, it would have fetched a nice amount. I mean, it's creased and everything, but. Sometimes maybe Perry's rage. Like $2 uh, now. Adds oh, more to it. Tony, can you find a place to put that up? Maybe like. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not allowed. Not allowed in my home. Yeah, or above there, just rest it on the top of the counter. Yeah, any, anywhere. Anywhere you can find a spot. Oh, you, fuck you! Perry, leave it alone. Whack job. Hey, the, the last time you auctioned off stuff, you, you made some decent money. Why would you Why would you destroy it? It makes no sense. Because it's gay, and I don't want to be looking like I'm gay! It's not gay. Never allowed! It's nothing, there's nothing gay about that. It's just two guys taking a shower together. That's gay. Two guys taking a shower together. Mm -hmm. Perry. That wasn't Perry. right. I don't give a Perry. shit. Perry. Stop it. Look at me, Perry. What's Stop the dog's it. name? I was trying to think. We had, uh, you, you know, I called the other one Rufus. I don't know if we have to go with Rex. I don't know if we have to go with Mittens after uh, Linda's cats that Perry accidentally... Mittens. Yeah, wasn't it the cat's name? I don't remember what, what she named her cat. She had two of them. I mean, this could be Randy, but um, what would you like to name it, Perry? I'm not in... This is my son's, by the way. Okay, from well, when he bring was your baby. dog. Bring your dog. No, he here. wanted to give it to you. Oh, yeah. I'll say thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Perry. Um, Tell me. We're going to have fun. You and I, I'm going to be in your bed. What? The dog, not me. 
Yeah, we He's sleep. on the couch with the bear. No! Bear. Stop it, please. All right. Where did you give the other dog away to? He burned it. I didn't burn it. I you gave, did. I gave the dog uh, away to a neighbor down the hall. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Is, you really didn't burn it? Why no. do people tell me this stuff about you? Because people who like to lie and BS me. <sighs> Remember that time he was burning stuff on the street and just walked away from it as it was like mid flame? Mid flame. Up. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Eh. <laughs> My work here is done. My work here is done. Yeah, it's not going to go out. I forgot where that was. <laughs> yeah. Like, out of all the things to be bad at, Perry, like, I, I know you're an arsonist, but, like, you're even bad at being an arsonist. Like, even an arsonist would I monitor know. their work. Yeah. I think I do have a clip. I'll have to dig it up of Perry um, looking at his work from a distance. What, at the age of 12? going? No, to no. This was on, that? like, uh, oh, forensic stupid. files. Forensic files? Yeah, I'll find it. Again, I don't know how you... So. Perry, you were in the hospital for three months, spent three weeks in a coma and had three neck surgeries. Do you know what right. this means? 333 times 2 is Satan. Well... Yeah, well, I'm not interested in your 333 times 2 is Satan. Well, this is for you. You can have that. Well, let's... Can I put, leave him here until I leave? Until you leave. Yeah. Oh, brother. Oh, sorry. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, SAG said they'd let you back in. Um, they can't hold against your religious beliefs. Um, so being a Satanist, as long as you don't kill or anything, that's not a problem with them. I'm not a Satanist, so... Well, they said you were involved with... They said well, you were. They said whatever whatever they said, and, and I see this is that it's a lie again about me. Okay. Thank you for subscribing. <clears throat> What's today? Friday? Am I right? Yeah. Do you want me to come back over tonight? Tonight? Yeah. God, no. We can hang out? Hell no. Why? Why? I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why you don't like me. Well, because I don't like the shit that I have to do on this stream that, that, that is making me look like I'm a freaking evil bastard. Well, can you at least unblock me on the phone? I don't even know how to do that. Did he block you? He yes, completely blocked me during you the told Super Bowl. Me, you told me to block him. No, I didn't. So, yeah, you said block You said block this guy and block Jim. No, I, I, in fact, I remember exactly what I said because you were calling me on Super Bowl Sunday. I said, if he's, a, if he's annoying you that much, just ignore block it. Block him. You said block No, him. I said ignore it. I said ignore it. Which you you can't obviously you have don't have the capacity to do. We'll, we'll figure it out later. But Perry and Perry was actually very nice. He did check into me a couple times and said, "Am I bothering you?" When <laughs> he texted me all day. <laughs> this. Means... If you can believe that, Tom. <laughs> I don't believe it. A junk report. Here, here. And then I'll let you. I I do remember him screaming at me on Super Bowl Sunday that. Uh, he he was running out of his house because uh, people were 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 coming over for a big Super Bowl party. <laughs> that I mean, Perry, you told me about that, and I just ran with it. And it's not your name is not in there. What do you mean? How did we text? It went, it's blocked. Since your name is blocked, oh, okay, we'll right, we'll, we'll, deal with we'll the later. figure it out. Figure it out. But again, Perry and I, you know, our our relationship increased until he invited me over for Super Bowl and then left. I didn't invite you anywhere. No, I remember. I remember very specifically now. Perry was screaming at me on the phone, and I, I wasn't with. The, I was like, Perry, 
Just, I said, where did you get this from? He's like, he's like, don't, you're Tony Hawk. He always says, you're Tony Hawk. And you uh, I said, yeah, Tony I said, Hawk. I said, ignore him. What? I said, I said, if it bothering you that much, ignore him. But Perry doesn't know how to do that. I said, block him. I said, block him, block Jim. You block Jim too? You said block Tony and block Jim. I would never yes. say block Jim. You should unblock Jim immediately. You said block. No, I got to. Un... No, please. We're not going to do that now, Perry, because it's going to take forever. But do not um, do not block PCL staff. That's not allowed. Yeah, he can't block Jim. Uh. Hey, dude. Uh. Love the stream. I share your love of California. Fuck Florida. Peace. Thank you. Thank you, Jason Moore. See? Well, yeah, fuck Florida. Peace, baby! Yeah, we can surf in the morning and snowboard at night. Or vice versa. Snowboard in the morning and surf at night. And skateboard all day. So then we can do all three. But you don't have a wetsuit. Perry, what about Garrett? Did you did you block Garrett, too? No. Don't believe I did. Because he, he actually blocked me. And then I had to call him on the other phone, and he was like, "And why would you block me? Like, I, like, I, and this this was not recent. I this blocked you accidentally. How do you accidentally block somebody? By uh, hitting the button that says block, you know. And I think and you that... have to jump through a couple of hoops to get to that, though. I don't think it's that easy. Anyway, yeah. uh, no, no blocking of PCL staff, please. Not anymore. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. PCL staff, when are you going to get her in here? Meaning top name, not bottom name. Go ahead and say it. Me? Yeah. Uh, Scarlett. Johansson. Johansson. Um, when are we getting her here? Her and Whitney, we got to get both of them here. Man, that's a tall order. It's not tall. All you got to do is call call her personally or call her agent. Perry, they think I know. Just... I know. I know. Like Tom likes to work through the agencies. Yeah. And get these people through their agencies, so they, you know them personally. They think you pulled mm -hmm. over that girl. I never pulled any. Oh God! What happened Wait, to me? Pull her over? Thirty-two years ago, I pulled over. She pulled over behind me. I just wanted to make sure she knew where she was going. She said, "Yeah." So I reached in, I gave her a kiss on the cheek. You weren't naked with a oh, shovel. Oh yeah, fucking whack job. Naked with a shovel. Yeah, like you with a pitchfork. Okay. Very. It's just so suspect. Because that's exactly what you are—a su suspect. A suspect. And then she, Perry, you were on the set all day acting inappropriately. Yeah, hugging and kissing a bunch of well, yes, thousands of girls uh -huh. around that beautiful set. And then you a took it one girls. step further that I don't think you're. The one step further was pulling over to see if she knew where she was going. That's all I did. To give her a kiss on the cheek, she freaked out and went to the passenger side of the car. So I backed off. I was scared. And I said, I'm sorry. And left. And then I got that disgusting phone call the next morning. Why does she say you were naked? She didn't say I was naked. Yes. I, I, I don't remember what she told the, the, the... How can you not remember being naked? I wasn't naked, dumbass. Are you sure? Most positive. Re oh, shut up. All right, I heard you had a shovel to dig a grave. Ooh, come on, P E W R I E, stop hiding your sexist homeless people calendar. Homeless people calendar. You love men with a little bit of A I I D S. No, I don't love people with a little A I I D S. Nothing wrong with that, Perry Barry, baby. P E W R I E, baby. No, no, no. I don't spell my name like a woman spells. The name Perry. P E W R Y, like Perry Como, whom I was named after. Thank you. Over and out. 
Whatever STDs Perry has, it doesn't bother me. Is Perry a female name? Are there women named Sexy! Too much dynamic. What? Yeah, what? STD. Oh, sexy. Hold on. I got a little confused. Oof. Perry did tell me he figured out how to not get, um, was it chlamydia or syphilis without having to use protection? What are you talking about? You told me before you're with a streetwalker, you drink a glass of water, wait 20 minutes, you can do whatever, and then oh, you God. Know, use the bathroom and wash with soap oh, because God. it's just bacteria. Oh, God, you are so stupid and sick and a laming and flaming liar. I said, I said, I said. Or is it the name that you're, you're talking to online that says my name? Oh, okay. That, but... But what? It's not me. I just thought they were like, if you're ever with street walkers, that's how come I thought it was you. But okay, okay. No, I don't. I, I don't talk like that. Perry Annie, B E W R I, Da Annie. TMZ reports your grandpa, Frank, the gay Giuliano, G-I-U-L, uh, yeah, okay, wore diapers too, okay. One source says, as Capone's personal butt boy and lover, Frank hasn't pooped right since. Hoover was president. Who was, oh, President Hoover? Yeah. Back in the 60s or 50s or before, whatever, in the... The lamp is blinking at us. Oh, I was like, whoa. Yeah. Do you have werewolves in here? Yeah, this one. <laughs> <I was> gonna... <laughs> There's something going on. Either the cockroaches are getting big. Perry, if you keep crying and acting like a baby bat, the tie will take more than all of your cards. I am already speaking to Randy to make a 92 movie. Where's my pay, bitch? Like a '92 movie. Boy, you are, you are, you are disgusting. You better pay me. And if my name is used in that movie, boy, I'm suing the shit out of you, psychotics. Stop with the suing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I then told you to keep my name out your mouth, Tubby. I want you to apologize to Randy and I or we shall move forward with the 92 movie. Apologize for what? Wow. He sexually assaulted me, whack job. Now you better apologize to me and give me my SAG after card back before I take you to court over it. You crook. Well, fuck me some more. You fucking crook. Carry my love. I want you inside, Levy said you're allowed. Want me inside? Of them. Gina Levy is not my girl. She's Bob Levy's girl. I'm not screwing Gina Levy. Bob and I joke about her, her coming here without him, but I'm not doing that to him or her. I mean, I love them both, like 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 old friends that I've known for years. But you know, we'll see what happens when they come to LA in March. Perry, my beloved, I need you inside me at Denny's again. Wow! I don't know what the fuck you're talking Who's about. Who's this guy? I have no clue what this person's talking about. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, and because I have a Denny's on the corner, they bring up Denny's. Okay. Uh, take this. Hold on. Here. This is. I'm afraid of this. That's why I don't want you touching it. I don't touch it. 
I worry about you. Perry, my dearest, I demand you be inside me to Toyota service again. What? There you go. I mean, he, he likes you. When my Toyota needs to be serviced, it'll be serviced. It's former SAG president Melissa Gilbert. I'm crying. I'm so sad to hear what Fran Drescher is doing to you. She was just like that to me on Little House. Melissa, love. Man, honey, it's it. She's just tearing the crap out of me. And I, I, I miss you. I miss you dearly. I know it's been a long time since you and I have seen each other. <clears throat> How's everything? You want to come on the stream? Come on over. Not today, though. On another on another stream. Come on over. Perry, I'm in Las Vegas and I won $1,000 playing blackjack. Shall I give it to you as a tip or should I bet it all again? Do what you want. I, 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 I have no control over you or your, your kind words saying you want to give me $1,000 for a tip. That'd be nice. I'd appreciate yeah, I'll it. I'll take that. I got to take this call. You want to leave? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. See ya. Have a good day. Bye-bye. He's got to take a phone call. And he's leaving. Hey, Perry, so oh. you, why do you got to bar, uh, bop away? Just pay attention. Perry, I won my second blackjack hand. I now have $2,000. One more hand, and I will tip you $1,000. I promise. I appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah, because we could use it here at PCL. And I can help out Tom. I can help out Jim. Help out Garrett. Help out. Oh, you'd split it with us? That's here. amazing. Thank you. Dude, this is, this is, this is the parry I want to hear. Are you peeing? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I am peeing. These diapers are the best. Like, Is there a noticeable difference between these and the uh, the ones with the skull and crossbones? Uh, these have a, a like a like a a separate protective coating in the in the center that was all gray as I put it on. the The crossbones didn't have that, so this is like like the, the, there's a a a mat on top of the regular rear's diaper so um, so these are better yeah okay good yeah the, the the last diaper was a good diaper but these are better than the last diaper thank you thank you thank you i don't care you know i don't mind the uh Perry, the little cartoon I lost it all. i had two thousand dollars and now i have zero dollars Fuck you, Perry. This is all your fault. I can't afford. It's to not my too. fault. I didn't tell you to. I didn't tell you to a gamble. That's the thing about gambling. You either become rich in two seconds, or or the poor guy in two seconds. So that's what happens when you're a gambler. Did you have similar murder dreams before you killed Eric and Nathaniel? I don't know who to, I never knew these people. I, I knew I had a friend named Eric, yes, but I never knew a Nathaniel and murdered a Nathaniel. Liar, scumbag, dirtbag, piece of trash. Eric was a was a Eric and his mom were family friends of mine and my mom's. They were Jehovah's Witness friends. Perry, honey, when you're inside me, I feel your throbbing heartbeat and love sleds you in the hallway. Okay. Dream, 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 dream. That's all you can do is dream. And now I got Elon Musk up here. What's he going to tell me?
Uh, you'll find out when it comes you, up, Perry. Stop darting away. Stop, stop darting away over there, please. That he owes me the money can, for Perry, buying all that food, Perry, wasting my time Perry, and my night. Perry, driving into Hollywood to see Perry, those two do you hear? Bozos? Do you hear me speaking to you? I, I'm yeah, asking you. I'm asking you to stop. Saying, Perry, look, Perry, Perry, okay, Perry, Perry, Perry. So I'm asking you to stop looking at that area. Thank you. You're not paying attention to your own stream. Okay, read this instead. Oh, brother. Perry, at what point did you look into poor little little, little Nathaniel's eyes and think, this kid's got got to die? Uh, numero uno, doofus, I never knew a Nathaniel. So, <laughs> lie again about me hurting somebody that I never knew. <laughs> I mean, you could even say the name Eric. Whoa, whoa, whoa. At one point, did you uh, look into Eric's eyes and, and hurt Eric? I never looked into Eric's eyes to hurt Eric. I looked at Eric. I says, I, I'm, I'm going home. And he, we both, you know, I went home. And then I got a phone call the next day saying that the, they found him dead. The next day did he was, have a really big drinking problem like it was noticeable to you? I didn't see any alcohol with him. And then I guess he waited till I left and then went to the no, store. No, I know, but leading up to that, did he have an alcohol problem? I never knew about it. That's the okay. thing. So the official cause of death was alcohol poisoning? Yeah, alcohol poisoning. That's crazy. As I'm getting like six gallons of water in this diaper. Hi, Perry, big fan. Do you think you'll ever get a bigger home to do a show in? Nope, no need. No need. No need because I'm not getting married that anytime no soon. I was actually asking Perry about that. We were, we were talking about like, I don't know, like possibility of like, you know, buying a home and things like that. And uh, I said, wouldn't it be nice to have a nice big house so you can have a separate room to stream in and this and that? He's like, why? I'm perfectly fine here. I've got my pool here. I've got my gym here. That's my perfect. That's my perfection to where I want to live. I don't need to be a member at, a, at a, another health club that has the same thing I have in my apartment complex, gym. So uh, I've... That's why a health club membership is a waste of money. And that's what Lisa Marie, when she was my my sweet, lovable friend, when she used to come over all the time and, and be a co-host on the comedy Pure Rock Resurrection, she's the one that talked me into stopping my membership at Bally's Total Fitness uh, because she says, oh, you don't need that membership. You're wasting your money on that. You know, she got a gym here. So I stopped going to the gym in Chatsworth, stopped going to the gym in Encino, going to the gym in North Hollywood, and occasionally going to the gym in, in Hollywood, uh, or Santa Monica for that matter, and uh, or the Huntington Beach gym when I lived in Orange County. Lived in Orange County, did the Huntington Beach gym, did the Anaheim gym, did the Costa Mesa gym. Harry said he wants the fans to send him boats and 200 pounds of popcorn. He wants to lay in popcorn fill boats and inappropriately touch himself. Uh, no popcorn, no boats, and if there's 200 pounds of popcorn or boats, it all goes in the it all goes in the big trash bin. So you're you're a money waster, you knuck, knucklehead. No boats, no popcorn. It all goes in the big garbage bin, out meaning the big trash bin at the street of Keswick. You mean to tell me you don't eat popcorn at all anymore? You're done with popcorn? I'm done. Done, 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 done. Done. So you're not the popcorn kid anymore? No way. Please. I want to make popcorn. I'll whip out my, my ancient uh, popcorn machine and put a little cup of uh, popcorn seeds in there and pop fresh popcorn. So you don't eat the tins that you have? Not anymore. Because I don't have any more. Well, I've got that one tin, the Chicago Bears tin on the uh, top of the microwave. Uh, that one and uh, this one right here. 
This mm -hmm. little tin. Which is empty, actually. It's empty. It's just sitting there. Okay, so you're done with popcorn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep that tin to make popcorn in because of the size of the tin, okay? Rather than have a uh, a um, corningware bowl and use that for making popcorn, I can point the popcorn scoop into this little tin. I'll use that for making fresh popcorn. But uh, this Tony kid left his eyeglasses behind. Oh, he's coming back. He's not gone for good. Okay. He's going to come back, and you're going to do the egg toss thing, and you're going to be nice to him. God. Perry, your ability to fall for the same scams multiple times is truly a monumental feat and stupidity never before seen in human history. Because I have a head injury, okay? That's why I keep falling for the same stupid stuff over and over and over again. Because of my memory is... A short-term memory issue. I have a very bad short-term memory issue. Okay, long-term memory is better. Doesn't mean it's perfect, but it's better. My short-term memory is really screwed up. Wannabe O.J. Simpson, we heard news about your premeditated murder of Tony are confiscating your knives and giving Tony a gun to defend himself. Oh, shut up! You're not confiscating shit out of my home. My kitchen knives stay where they belong. My silverware stays in the drawer. My dishes stay in the cabinet or in the dishwasher. <sighs> Perry, sweetie, you told me you never went down on new hours or first inside you in the Toyota. No, Blue Iris was never in my Toyota. Dummy. <sighs> you were awful on Monday, but much better today. Enjoy the energy drinks. Can I be your PCL girl for life now that you're done with that nasty ass hoe bag, Gina? Well, Whitney, when are you showing to my house? When are you coming over, babe? I love you. I miss you. Come over and you'll be mine forever and ever and ever and ever. I had your phone number. I don't know if it's uh, written down somewhere because I well, she changed it again. I think I always do with mine. I don't even know how many phone numbers I've had since uh, the last time we spoke. Two or three, I think. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Hi, I'm professional comedian Ray DeVito. Some say I'm the I-80 strangler. Unlike your kills, they got no proof. I don't leave DNA in my victim's widow. What do you mean? <clears throat> Are you related to Danny DeVito, Ray? Is that your dad or your brother? Or... Uh, Danny DeVito reminded me of a lot of my father, and I met him on a film shoot and I told him that and he goes okay yeah thanks I went on to talk to somebody else
he was busy. I didn't want to bother him, so. Hey, Perry, I think you got to deliver it. Where's Tony, by the way? Did he actually leave? I don't know. He better not have left because he left his glasses here if he left. Well, I, don't I have a delivery at my he's, door. He's not in the apartment. Okay, I, I was waiting for him to bring it in, but uh, can you just get the delivery? It's at the door. You got three of them. Perry, we're not taking garbage out. Just bring in the stuff. I'm not eating this crap. I'm not eating any of this crap. He left his eyeglasses here, by the way. Yes, so we know. How many back. times are you going to say that? He's coming back. All right, let's, uh, that looks like Wendy's. Open the Wendy's first. Oh, cripes. I'm not eating any chili. Come in. I'm not eating any chili. Oh, yeah, what? As he goes into the bathroom. What are you doing in my bathroom? Huh? And uh, no, I will not have Skittles. Hey, Perry, can you just take it? How long does it take you to remove something from a bag? I'm like, not just, having just, any just of these. Just put them on the desk. I'm not having any of these. Oh, you like 7-Eleven pizza. 7-Eleven pizza is the shittiest pizza I've ever eaten in my life. But you like it. I hate it. But I like it, you fucking lying sick bastard. Can we see the pizza? It's not pizza. It's trash. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, as far as 7-Eleven goes, it doesn't look that bad. Can you take one slice, one bite, Perry, please? I won't. You, you don't have to eat the Skittles or anything like that, but you do have to take a bite of the pizza. As long as you don't make me have any of that, thank you. You don't have to have Skittles, no. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'll have one bite of this. A good bite. Um, I gotta take my pills first. No, 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 no. Take the bite, Perry. I need to take my pills first. Oh my first. god. Lactate pills are all gonna be on the shitter in seconds. Well, you're wearing a diaper, aren't you? I'm not taking a shit in my diaper. I know. I was just kidding. You want some chili, uh, Tony? Apparently, we got some chili. I, I, I might here in a second. That uh, Sprite did a really good job of settling my stomach. Do you try Sprite for that, Perry? No? All right. Sprite eats my stomach alive. Really? Eats me up. All right, Perry, let's get with the pizza. Come on. Where did the pizza go? Where'd you, where'd you put it? Oh, here it is. Blend it into your carpet. One bite. That's a dainty bite. Come on, take a real bite. Oh, fuck! I'm not shoving the whole goddamn thing in my mouth. I'm just saying take a regular Perry bite. And I have to fucking slice! All right, that's fine. That's good. How, so how is it on a scale of 1 to 10? Dry. You want to hold it? Gross flavor sauce. Here. Reef shitty cheese. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Seven Eleven is not known for their pizza. All right, what do you say? What do you say we uh, go over to the stunt uh, right now? We good for that? 
So yeah. just to remind everybody, oh, first of all, let me get this Tom's tip out of the way. This is from our good friend Matt C. Why do you dart away the second I mention Matt C? Look how far away he's going. I'm backing up. Get ready to do this. Well, I just uh, told you I was going to do a Tom's tip. So over here, please. All right. Matt C says, here goes Perry blaming everything on the weather again. It must have been humid that day when Perry drove on the wrong side of the freeway and hit that poor old lady. Stop faking all of this, Perry. If you continue to use fake excuses, You're a liar. we will have Tony spread popcorn evenly throughout your entire apartment to soak up all the popcorn humid Popcorn is air. not allowed in my home again. Number right. one. Well, here he is right here. You're not, you're not fucking oh, throwing what? that Oh, I thought that was house. empty. You're not fucking throwing that in my house. It looks like he was. It looks like he was eating quite a bit of that. Yeah, that was caramel corn. I like the caramel corn. Oh, okay. That okay. was then. Well, you're not. No. You sure. Not, no. I said no. Cover right. it and leave it. All right. So listen. Uh, let's get some. First of all, let's get some eggs. So can you bring the eggs out? The eggs you have, Tony. Three you can eggs. Get it. Three. Yeah. No, leave him alone. Get the Let fuck out of my home. What's wrong? Perry? Sit down. Perry, leave him alone. No, you're the one sit who sits down. down. Perry, you sit down. He's got a crate of eggs in there. Perry, what is wrong? You. No, and we're not getting just three eggs. Get out all the eggs. I don't want to drop it. That's why I want the container. If we don't have a container, they're going to get dropped. Here, walk around. Oh. No. Three eggs. We're, uh, Harry, eggs are not easy to carry, not in their container. Bring the container. This will be like this. One, two, three. He didn't say three eggs. He said three eggs. No, I didn't. I want the whole carton over there. And Perry, you're not in charge of the eggs. Tony is. Fucking asshole! You fucking asshole! Motherfucker! And PCL sent you those eggs. You didn't buy those. PCL sent those. They're property yeah, PCL. Yeah. You can take these shitty eggs and get them out of my house. Okay. Take them home. I don't, don't, I don't like want them, them anymore. Why? Because they're not organic eggs. Take them home. We've got them. And now, all right, do I go on your bed or do you? You're not going anywhere over there! You're sitting right the fuck here! All right, Perry, you're sitting down. Perry, you're sitting down. All right? That's enough out of you. All right? This is an offer that's going to make you 300 bucks. Okay, you would take, no, leave the fedora because you got to catch the eggs in the fedora. So sit down. Stop getting up. Okay, I'm going to explain this. I, and I think we could do it on this camera angle. I think this is probably the way to go. So Perry, if you can move your chair, I'm now going to give you permission to stand up. Move your chair as far into the corner as possible, your chair that you're sitting on right now. Yeah. Further away, Perry, if you could. Now, Tony, if you could stand by the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, now, Perry, you come back here to the camera. Hey, Perry, we're not, we're, we're not doing anything else right now but this. All right, so, Perry, listen, listen. Stop bopping and listen. You have to catch three eggs with your hat, okay? Three eggs need to be in there. Now, if any, now if Tony misses any and they fall somewhere, you can Perry, stop doing whatever you're doing and listen. Stop, st Perry. I'm asking you to stop bopping. Perry, turn around, look at the camera, and pay attention, because you can't multitask. So I don't have to repeat this five times. Yes, that's Perry's listening position. What up, homie? Uh, so. You have to catch three eggs in the fedora, all right? Now, if let's say you miss one, you miss catching one and it lands somewhere else, you can't go running after that egg until you catch all three. 
Otherwise, you don't get paid for the offer. Do you understand? So if Tony throws an egg and let's say you don't catch it, let's say you miss it and it rolls somewhere like on the floor or God forbid it breaks, you can't take care of that until after you've caught three in your hat. Now, do you want to use the fedora on your head or do you want to use another fedora? Because you, you can use, use another this. fedora. I'll use, I'll use my original. All right, use the original. That's fine. So that's what we'll use to catch. Now, as far as Tony goes, Tony, uh, you got to get good throws. They have to come close to the ceiling. In fact, let me just see something here. I just want to make sure we're in the right want... angle for this. Oh, shit. I don't know I don't if this would be the better like angle. To touch my chair. I don't want... Right, this should be good. Perry, can you do me a favor? For this stunt only, can you tilt the camera up? I want to get a little more ceiling space just so we see the whole thing. Just tilt it up, and then you'll move it back down. That's good. That's good. That's that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. That's good. So, go. Perry, again, if an egg falls down, God forbid it breaks, no big deal. We'll take care of it. You're getting paid $300 for this. Tony, you got to throw the egg to the point where it... Uh, Gets close to the ceiling. Obviously, we don't want it to hit the ceiling. We just want it to get close uh -huh. to the ceiling. And let me just make sure I have everything else. I can disqualify a throw if you know it's it's not a great throw. And uh, Perry cannot remove eggs in between catches. Okay, so back up, Perry. I don't give them. I don't give him back the eggs that, that I no, catch? No, you have to have three in your hat before the stunt is completed. Oh. So so three needs to be in your hat. You know, It's not going to be like three tosses. It's going to be whatever works. Now, Perry, back up a little bit. And you can't lean into the catch either. You can't like lean in and cheat. And this goes over here. All right. And uh, Perry, if, if an egg breaks, God forbid, no big deal. Eggs are very easy to clean up and you're getting paid 300 bucks. So with that, let us begin with toss number one. I'm gonna try, okay? Okay. All right. All right. That was a good toss. Let's try it again, Perry. Try Do a better job of catching it. Can I keep it below the ceiling? Is that good? You're gonna be destroying all the eggs because I'm not catching them. I'm I'm aiming for your hat. This isn't as easy as it looks. No, it's not. Oh, son of almost, a bitch! Almost. Hey, that was good. Almost. I'm getting married. This is not easy. Fuck. Oh, one. Hey, it. that's one. Very good. Come on, right? One. one. Yeah. Keep it in there. Yeah. It broke, but it's two. Th that wow. counts. It counts. Counts. Fuck. Asshole. Barry, this isn't as easy as it looks. And I've gotten two right away. No, you can't oh, go yeah, after yeah. it. You can't go after it. You gotta leave it until I'm after we're done. I'm you you can't. Bag, you yeah. can't. You can't get the egg it's until it's done. So, back there. I'm trying to not do what I did because I got third one's always the hardest. Perry, you can't go no, after the no. egg, otherwise it, it's. I'm, I'm pulling it out. No, you can't. You can't. Otherwise, now, now you need an extra, that's a scam. Hold on, time, time out. Now you need two more in the hat because you're, again, one of the oh, rules. shut up. Fucker. No, don't tell me to shut up, Perry. This is how you get paid. The rules are you can't go after any egg until three are in your hat, and you just scammed, so that means you need two more in the hat. You can do this. You want me to throw two at once? No! there that's too hard i need to like make it come back this way please where'd it go on the floor right here oh oh shit how are we doing on eggs tony uh we got about a dozen left oh okay 
Got it. All right. Okay. Now one, one more. more. One more. Fuck. What do you? What do you? What, what, what? Harry, you're I'm, making a mess in my house. I'm trying to replicate it. Trying my ass. <laughs> you want me to throw overhand? No. Perry. Ready? Fuck. You're an asshole. No, I thought it was gonna go. No, you're an asshole. Ready? Okay. Alright. We're done. We're done. Very good. Congratulations. Very good. Great job on both your parts. Now, now Perry, if you, you could no no, he's not he he'll he'll leave when he needs to leave. But Perry, I need you to come back up here and fix this camera, please, and, and tilt it back down. Thank you. Very good job on both of your parts. I can't Excellent. sit down until I'm done cleaning. No, no, you'll clean after the stream. You're going to finish the stream first. Perry, I should you get any, like... Dump, the, dump, the, any dump the ones in your hat. You can get the ones right there in your immediate vicinity. Yeah. Tony, I don't know. Do you do this professionally? Because that was, like, amazing. Well, you know, I was at one point going to be in the circus... But uh, I didn't make it into Ringling Brothers Clown College, but I came damn close. I, I, I could tell. Yeah. I could tell. Well, let's Perry, let's, let's check in on Perry the Cleaner. Hey, Perry, we're not yeah. doing dishes. We're not washing anything right now. We're, we're getting back to the stream. Perry, you know, eggs are like a good enzyme to clean your uh, carpet. I've heard that. Fuck in it. No, no, Perry. Look at it. You know, don't like... It's all good. Hey, Perry, Why? the screen is back this way. All right, you can clean up that egg after we're done. And you got that one, you got that one right there. If you want to put that one in the fridge, that one's perfectly good. The one that's sitting right there. This... Or this uh, one. I was talking about the one by your chair. That one. Yeah. Put it back. You can put those back in the fridge. Those are fine. Three hundred bucks, Perry, to have a few eggs. <sighs> you look at it that way. Not a bad thing. Seriously. Game, I mean you're the cleaner. You were it's not like you weren't gonna vacuum. Right? He usually vacuums like it's a thorough yeah, clean. Yeah, he said something here. happened. It was he said that one of the wheels is uh, messed up on the vacuum. We got to fix that. Oh. We can do that. Okay. All right. We did it. Good job, both of you. And Perry, I'm, I'm very surprised that you didn't attack Tony during that. So that's very good. I don't want this. I don't want that. No, 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 don't, no, don't dart away again. Come on. Can you fix the camera? Just bring it down a little bit, a smidge. Just a little bit. That's good. That's good. A little bit up now. Just a tiny bit up. A hair. Nuanced, nuanced touch there. That's that's good. Okay. All right, Tony, you're good. Let, by the way, let me know when you got to uh, bop out of here. Yeah. Ten, ten minutes. Two minutes. Perry, honey. I told the police what you told me to for you to be inside. Don't wipe your dick on my curtains again. Hot. Uh, exactly. What is just plain disgusting. Does Fran know about all this? I don't know what the fuck these people are saying. I don't have any idea. It's just gross. <laughs> Perry, thank you for the warm and lovable birthday wishes. How come you only want female celebs on your stream? I thought you loved me. I can't come on. You're supposed to be a chick, and you, Ali, the girl that I know that I met in, uh, in uh, Pottstown is female. So yeah, I'll allow you on. Guys, I, uh, this is the only guy I, well, him, Dave Navarro is a nice guy. Yeah. Um, th those are the only two guys that I've, like on my stream as guys bob levy bob levy he's a good guy him too i mean perry we're friends you can call me a friend doesn't mean we're friends <laughs> i 
I don't go to your house. I don't visit I've invited you. you. I don't know where you live. And then you told me dirty stuff about my wife, which. Ooh. I never told you anything about your yeah. wife. She tried. She, I remember running into you one time up at Porter Ranch movie theater. And, yeah. And. Uh, oh, that's right. And um, your wife came off like uh, like I was uh, sexually involved with her. And I flipped out when I saw that and heard that. Is that involved. how you remember it for real? That, I don't remember anything about the movie shoot that we were on together. Okay. If she was on Tehachapi with me or not. Up at the Arboretum in Pasadena. Because there were a ton of people at that rock concert with Ozzy Osbourne one day. And and uh, I forget the other bands. I'll, I'll revisit it with her. Was she at the little Nikki shoot? I... I... She's been at so many. I'll I know. To, same here. Yeah. And you can take the skills home as well. I don't like this crap. I'll put them in your bed. No, 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 I no. Get it. It's Gina. Why do I get punished for your vacation with Randy Callahan in 92? Stop saying you defended me. You got canceled. You gay creep. I wanted, you know, look. You screwed my life up, and it's your fault. Your fault, your fault, and only your fault. You're the only person that I blame for this crap. You got canceled, you freak. Yeah, thanks. Picking up food to bring it to you. And Thank Elon you for Musk. subscribing. Liars. Thank you. Turn master, when you murdered and then butchered Tony Hawk like a psycho, how many of his body parts did you have sex with? Sick, sick stuff, but this is disgusting. I mean, it was your dream. I would never have sex with this guy because he's a man. One, two, I am not Jeffrey Dahmer. All right, but you did burn butcher me in your dream. How do you know? You, you, you didn't said it on the air. I didn't say it on the air. I'm pretty sure you did. I never said that on the air. You cut me up and then you killed yourself. Didn't say that on the air. Let's go to the videotape. I mean... <laughs> did I say it on the air? Are you serious? <laughs> yes, yeah, you did. I thought I said that to you privately. This is why streaming is bullshit. Because everything I do privately with you, you record no, it, turn it in. No, no, no. You all, all I heard from you this morning was a text saying I had a dream that I killed Tony Hawk, and then was I'm that the on air. The stream? No, that was a private conversation. Yes, to okay. you. Perry, if you listen, that is not you can't. Supposed to be on the stream. Private conversation, you motherfucker. Hey, garbage mouth. Private fucking conversation, you disgusting, sick bastard. Oh, but no, what's she going to do? He's going to turn it into the stream. Hey, garbage mouth. I was saying. Okay, so 24 okay, hours I'm just going to mute you. If you can't, I'm just going to mute you. So just be quiet. Okay, you can't wait to talk over people and you don't listen. And that's that's most of your problem. You're like you're doing right now. He doesn't listen. He just talks over people. What I, I was saying it. was all you told I me it. was the headline. I, let me know when you're done muttering to yourself and you can listen. Are you done? All I heard from you was the headline. I had a dream that I killed Tony. I didn't hear any more detail than that. And then I said, okay, talk about that on the air. And then I said on the air, uh, what about the dream you had? And you said, oh, I'm not talking about that. And then you eventually did. And then you went into great detail about how you murder, mur brutally murdered Tony Hawk in your dream. And, uh, you know, that, that's all it was. So that, that's it. So yes, you did say it, and you weren't, you know, there's nothing wrong about talking about a dream. That's all it was. So, I don't think you're in any trouble. And then, of course, okay. you uh, you attacked him physically uh, after that, which is far worse than talking about a dream. I mean, it put an idea in your head, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, and, and Garrett, don't go through the effort. I don't need the clip, but yes, you did say it.
Okay, so since he's already done this this egg throw crap, he'll leave on his own okay. time. Okay, and Perry, and you we, should be and you should be kissing his butt because he's the one that can help you with Fran Dreschner in your sad card. So you should be kissing his butt. Uh, I'll, I'll respect him. Let get his phone number back on my phone. You know how to do that, all that. No, I don't. I don't, Perry. Do I'm, I'm three thousand miles away. I can't physically touch your phone. Where's my phone? Who no, no, we're not doing board? it now because it's going to take too much <laughs> tech time. We'll, we'll do it later. But who made me destroy my Lamar board? Hey, Perry. Hey. Oh, bastards. Perry, nobody made you do anything. You sold it for a good chunk of change. Stop with the your Should have never sold it. Should have yes. never well, sold then, it. Well, you, then you shouldn't have agreed to it, but you agreed to it. You weren't forced. You made money, and you didn't have to spend that money on getting another snowboard. I, that's a win-win, if oh, you ask me. Thank you. Made money. Money. Hi, Perry. Met you at the WCH anniversary. My girlfriend and I took a photo with you and ever since, she's been making me wear a fanny pack in bed. Help. In bed? Whoa. That's, that's cuckoo. Why would you wear a fanny pack in bed? Don't you wear yours to bed? I wear mine only when I go places. Where is that? Mind your business. God damn it. No, Perry, sit down. I can't afford any more darts today. Come on. Perry, a question doesn't mean get up and get. Yeah, it does. Because I don't no. trust you. Perry, I need you to finish this stream. So, I'll finish up when I have my fanny pack on my body. So oh, my God. So, this is the credenza? Get out of my goddamn dresser! Get out of my What are you going to do? Fuck out of my dresser! Get the fuck, Perry, out of my fucking dresser! Perry, never do it again! I just. What is there, bodies in there or something? Get out of my house right now! Out of my house! Now! Perry, yeah. get back to the camera right now. I just see what I can wear. Nothing! That's the same size. Perry, let me just look. Nothing you are allowed to touch. You are not allowed in my goddamn... Get out of the house now. Now. All right, all right. You know out what? of my house I'll right now. I'll respect your wishes. Please. Okay. Walk I out. I have a hug. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Bye. All right, bye everyone. Bye, Tony. Oh, oh, nice. Here. No. Here you go. No. Did you need it? Do that answer. Okay. All right. Bye. Oh, look, you got gobbling. Without me, then. All right. Stupid fucking asshole. <sighs> Are you done attacking people for one day? Perry, just sit down. Stop touching. No, no, no. We're not going anywhere else. Sit down. Nobody else is here. Yeah, I'm done attacking people. Wait, good. Can you, I, can you be done bopping? Because... Oh, my God. Hey, hey Perry, listen. Listen. Uh, Perry. Uh, Okay, I have a real work thing that I have to do. I have a hard out today. So your <sighs> darting and bopping is uh, affecting that. So can we get on with the stream, please? Can we finish? No, y yes, I'm trying to do that. But you getting up and darting every two seconds is preventing that. Okay, so we're going to finish the stream. So can you stop getting up? So far, I'm sure. Thank you. Perry, baby, please don't eat porn curtains. Need to be you inside me. What? Never. I can't believe I ever fell in love with you, Perry. You brought me nothing but heartbreak. First I hear you sucked off Randy, then you abandoned me. Oh god. That's not me, so don't answer it. Oh fucking. Do not answer oh, it. Please. No, I'm not. Put it away. Yeah. Dumbass. Trying to call me.
<sighs> Please give me another chance, Pear Bear. I miss your warm, throbbing, gaping holes and your saxophone shaped penis. You want it? You want I me want to give you another greasy, chance? Grease, freak back, X Men holding hands. One chance, only one chance, when you show your face at my home. No other chance. You come over right now and kiss my ass an apology for the disgust and disgrace you put me through the la earlier this week. Other than that, I never want to hear from you ever again. Tired of this negative, evil bullshit. Tired of it. Hey, Peary, you lost a fan because of your shitty attitude last Monday. You work 12 hours a week and cry about it. Sag has no idea who you are, 1992, 1992. Bye. No, not bye, Perry. How about you, like, I'm sorry for my attitude on Monday. I've uh, vowed to improve myself, and please come back as a fan. Please come back as a fan. I'm sorry about last Monday. I'm a I'm a asshole when I'm disrespected. Yeah. But that's what we call Perry Caravello Live, okay? I don't even know why I said that like that, but hey. That's the polite way of saying it. Perry, join Bob Levy's Born Wrong Ministries and you'll be forgiven for being inside you at Kids R Us. Kids R Us? My God, I haven't heard of that place in ages. Kids R Us, Toys R Us. When I was a young kid, I used to go to Toys R Us all the time, get, get models and toys and whatnot. Never went to a Kids R Us, though. But they're both out of business, so we're both the same company, actually. Anyway, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Perry, stop trashing John's one you inside me. I don't know what you're talking about, so. I'll never do uh, an immoral gay act by going inside some other man sexually, ever. Stop talking like I'm, like, like some of these gross people are. Not interested. Perry. Ship out Gina Levy's shop back today. Want that you inside me. What? That'll never happen. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for subscribing, yeah. Thank you for subscribing. Again, thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Perry, Meep, Bop, Boop, Jiggle, want you inside Bruce Willis. You're a little wacky and that'll never happen. So, uh, good day.
Bob's race car bed is coming and Bob said Tony Hawk can use it when he's not there. But you're not allowed because you'll end up gooning in it. There better not be a fucking race car bed showing up at my home. I'll throw in the fucking garbage, dumbass. Stupid fucking idiot. Billy Joe from Green Day here. I paid you $20 last week to have you put on 10 shirts and you didn't. Please respect me like I respect you. Not today. I'm not putting on 10 shirts. What are you crazy? Thanks for the 500 cheers, wherever you are. Hey, Tony, can you measure by the dining room table so that my race car bed will fit? And Tony, you can use the bed since I know you won't goon in it. You're not going to be putting a race car bed in my home. What are you, three years old? Even a three-year-old's not allowed to put a race car bed in my home. I won't even set a stupid race car bed up on the stupid patio outdoors. No, not allowed in my house. Either you sleep on the floor or on the couch if you want to sleep in my apartment. Or you get a hotel room like you did the last time. Oh, great. Tony, I really had no idea that you knew Perry. Maybe things can be worked out with a SAG card. But between you and I, KK runs this town and really doesn't like Perry. <sighs> KK runs this town? And you're president of Screen Actors Guild? How the hell does she run this town when you're supposed to be the president of the Screen Actors Guild? Boy. Who's the president of the guild? You, Fran. Undress her. Make a cute little nickname out of your last name, okay? Undress her like... Is that a dresser? Like I'm undressing you, okay, girl? Trying to be cute and sarcastic and a little fun. But oh no, 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 now I'm probably in more trouble because I'm undressing you. On my stream. Again, it's on my stream. It's a mental thing. <laughs> like a bunch of these monkeys do on a freaking internet. Mental stuff. See, bombs go off all the time on the internet. It's not like I'm blowing up buildings or blowing up cars and stuff. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, welcome to the new Donator Stash program. The first donator for your program donated his ball sack here for your lip. Thank you, Mr. Callahan. That's, I'm not interested in your disgusting, gross... Donations, sick psychopath. Oh, God. I got work that I have to do in my house today. Perry, meet me today at 5 p.m. at my lawyer's office at 19655 Sherman Way for a real meeting. We don't need to allow Regina. We can do our own lawsuit, babe. Five o'clock, one nine six five five. Um, six five five. You're talking off of Corbin and Sherman Way? Sure, I'm there. What's the name of your attorney?
just give in to Satan, you only suffered with Heyerba, give in to Satan, move to Florida, smoke, allow Fuck the crazy gay do. Easter egg hunt at Studio 102. Forget it. Give in to Satan, go away. Ugh. Hey, you big fat jabroni, go suck on a fat Johnson again like in 1992 if you smell what the cock is smoking. You're gross. Disgusting, degrading, and gross. Ciao. I've got an apartment to clean up with all this crap no, on the floor. You've got a stream to do, so I don't want to hear about it. You can do that later. Well, finish your stream. Nobody has more free time than you. So you've got all Oh, I've got tons of free time to you. No, you've got free time, period. After the stream, you got all the rest of the day to clean up. But right now you're oh, doing Oh, when are you going to end the stream? Excuse me. Right now you're doing the stream. You know, the one thing that earns you money. So do that. I didn't make any money today. I got screwed. You just Scurry. made $300 tossing eggs with Tony. So you didn't get screwed. So stop talking like a dingbat and do your job. Thank you. God, I'm freaking mighty. Oh, God. Johnny boy. P E W R I is not how I spell my name. Just use the shop back. After you cut the calendar, it's an easy hundred bucks. I'm not cutting my calendar. I did it again. I did it once. I'm not doing it again. Fuck. Stop it already. Jealous weasels. Any day now, Perry. Ow, ow, ow. P E W R I Akbar Allah Callahan and Tony Hawk will be getting married next Friday. Never. P E W R I will perform the same acts on Tony as he did on Randy's jib. F uh, six six six. Never, ever, ever. No day, any day, any Friday. Not allowed. Never gonna happen. You demoralizing, degrading cock sucker. Ciao. Before I say the wrong word. Oh, Tony, Perry, happy Friday. Can you no, sign don't my mumble grocery? through it, Perry? Read it. I'm reading. Shut up. Hey, Tony, it's Perry. All right, no, it wrong, wrong, wrong. One more time. Hey, Tony, happy Friday. Can you sign my grocery store certificate. Oh, and Jim said it would be okay for you. Make a frozen pizza if you're hungry. MHH 666. I don't know what MHH is, uh, so bye. <coughs> oh. Any day now, Perry. Any day at all. Perry, P E W R R I. Again, I don't spell my name with an I. All I want you to do is put your microwave on high for 30 minutes with nothing in it. There's no reason why you can't do this for your sexy fans. Uh, putting it on high for 30 minutes is an attempt of a fire, okay? Whether there's it's something in there or something not in there, 30 minutes is uncalled for. And not allowed to happen. Cripes. Tony Pandaloni. It seems that longer Perry's hair gets, the more violent he is. And what did Tom do? Stop assaulting Tony. 
He deserves a genuine apology with a big smooch. Go away. He's already gone, and you're already gone, so thanks. You might be onto something there, Tony, with the hair. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, he said that uh, the longer your hair get, the more the more violent you get. Yes, you you do get more violent with the length of the hair. I don't know if the two have anything to do with it. Got nothing to do with my hair. Absolutely got nothing to do with my hair. It's got to do with the respect I get, the respect I'm shown. This is not a good week, thanks to uh, our set. Right, just read these. Move on. What act gave you the bigger bone R question mark? M U ordering Mike Majestic or laying down Linda's cats? Shut up, retard. Oops, I used the wrong word. Shut up, moron. Yeah, sorry about the R word. Okay, sorry about that. Today is the anniversary of Perry coming out of his fairy tale coma. What? No, it's not. February 23rd was the day I, I left the hospital in 1980 and went home to Palm Springs. That's what today is. February 23rd, I left Loma Linda University and went home to Palm Springs. To donor the to to honor to donor to honor this. Perry, P E W R I, Allah will let off a mega upper decker into the kitchen sink. Are you out of your gross, gross, gross mind, you sick psychopath? Ugh. Ugh. Hi, Franny. Since John D. won't do any more gay flicks with you, would you consider doing them with someone else? Maybe the Meat Man or Stacy Peralta. Uh, John D. is my childhood best friend from Chicago. That's not how his name is spelled, and thank you for not spelling it the way he spells his name. Uh, that's number one. Number two... Gay acts are not possible with anybody until my girl shows up. And my girl's no longer in my life, except for Whitney Cummings, who gave me a nice uh, pack of F. Nice uh, 4812. Nice 12-pack of uh, uh, C4s. So, And thank you again to uh, Whitney Cummings. Whitney, when you want to come over, come on over. Okay. <sighs> oh, shut up. Big fan, this moron says, did you play Velcro Man with, with your uh, butt hair when you were filming with a John D? <clears throat> I saw your gay film or on paper. Pay preview and can't remember. Uh, first off, that person, that Asian person, is not and never will be my childhood best friend. In that film edited, film shoot that you saw, edited by my evil, demented, skanky, slut bitch whore sister in law, Amy. So, yeah. Okay. I've got. Things to do and uh, people to, to Put see. Put your phone away, Perry. You're doing your stream right now. Put your phone away. Okay, your order is ready to pick up. Perry, put yeah, your I, phone I away. I gotta go get my clothes. I've gotta go get my clothes. Okay, Perry, you don't gotta do anything. You're gonna do the stream right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Jim, here's $5 for the accepted offer for Perry 
to shred his Hooters calendar and then fill the top drawer of his credenza with barbecue sauce. That'll never fucking happen, you goddamn motherfucking piece of dog shit. Ruin my beautiful fucking piece of furniture. Fuck off, you fuck. I told your unicorn ass before the lawsuit I was going to revoke your membership. You are a disgusting human being and should be arrested for what you did to Randy. What? What I did to Randy? You mean what Randy did to me? That piece of dog shit should be behind bars again. You dumb stooge. What I did to Randy. Yeah. Sexual Harry, assault to me. Tony is a dear family friend. If you put your ape hands on him again. I'll make sure you never work again. Come over and talk to me face to face. We'll talk. Show me some respect face to face and we'll talk. Tony is is a uh, employee of mine on uh, PCL. Got it? I did nothing wrong to you and you blackball me for trying to support a girlfriend is no is is out to screw everybody, including herself and, and Elon Musk. Screw her BS. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of being used. Go grab a bunch of food for these two buffoons. Drive to a freaking Perry when you restaurant. Do you touch your genitals? Santa Monica or do you Walmart. use your underwear to hey, Perry, Do you hear a tip comment coming in? Close your lips when you see a tip comment coming in. Play that stupid thing again. No, I, I'm going to have to now. Would you like to interrupt me as I'm yelling and No, Barry, I'm trying to move things along and cut your babbling yeah, let's off. Get a, let's get out of let's yeah, get No, 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 no. I can't do that because you just won't shut up. Okay? So when a new tip comment comes in, you be quiet, you compartmentalize, and move on to the next thing. Ray thought about giving you a role in my upcoming film. After hearing that you don't wipe your ass like it anymore. Can't have your filthy ass on set. Oh, God. What a bunch of liars, these pieces of trash. Don't wipe my ass. I use moist wipes from Costco. Wipe my ass, please. I have always wiped my ass. Dummies. <clears throat> don't wipe my ass. You definitely know that's a lie. Can you give Stuttering John three reasons on why he should utilize divers while streaming? Tell the advantages and how it will improve his stream like PCL. So you don't have to get up and use the toilet, that's all. I pee a lot. Senator John Melendez is having a one-bedroom studio apartment competition 500 square feet. He is sure to win says his NYU diploma grocery diploma in Credenza. Not allowed. Not allowed. Not fucking allowed. My grocery store diploma. My comedy club diploma. My bedroom dresser of any sort, either dresser is not to be removed from my home. My home. This is my home. Not allowed. Evil fucking bastard. Let's say I did sell my late mom's bedroom dresser. Where the fuck am I going to put all my goddamn clothing? Stupid asshole. So no, it doesn't go anywhere. Jackass. It's a nude. 
Your credence is a beautiful piece of wood. That's what Thank Tammy you. Faye said about my huge dick. Open wide. Time for my frothy nude scludge. Sorry, dude. Just do your thing. Give her your cat scratch fever, okay? If you call me my love again, you Soviet slob, I won't read your garbage ever again. I'll have you blacklisted. This this Fruit Loop says, and his name is Soviet Goat, which is what he likes to call himself. <clears throat> the Russian whack job, Soviet Goat. Yeah. What does GOAT mean again? I forget. Anyway, I know GOAT is four words for like uh, um, something great in a person. They're a GOAT. All right. Now, Perry, my love, I need advice. My father died last week. What's a respectful amount of time I should wait before I force fist my mom's dirty gash? What the fuck? Men holding hands, a coffin, men holding hands, a coffin. Get off my stream, dirt bag. Ugh. Sick. Where'd my phone go? Oh, it was in my pocket. <sighs> what size shoes do you wear? Mostly 11 sneaker, uh, 10 and a half, 11 dress shoe. Depends on the shoe. Perry, you should do food deliveries more often as training when Tom B. finally has had enough and quits PCL. Then you have to work as a delivery driver. Then, then you have to work as a delivery driver. Why would I want to deliver food when I do this for a living now? Because my delivery days are over after the print shop went went down. My truck was destroyed by that. Big Dodge 3500 Cummins turbo diesel that rear-ended me. That's what ended my uh, delivery drop job. So obvious you can, you are scared to move to Florida. You know you are too old and confused to learn new surroundings and meet new men. No, learn, learn that uh, Florida has a storm every other day that destroys their freaking beautiful home. Boom. You get a hurricane, a tornado, bam. Now you have no home. You have to rebuild your home. And then you have another hurricane or tornado and your house is destroyed again. You don't know if you're going to be swimming out of, out, out of the uh, the neighborhood or not. Then you have to build your home again. It's about bullshit. And then some of these people that live in the state of Florida put their home on these uh, 20, 30 foot high stilts so they don't flood their home out. And then they build their four by four vehicles to, like, like they're six feet off the ground to climb into their freaking monster trucks. I'll never live in that crap. God, move me to Mammoth if you're going to move me anywhere. Small town, quiet city, a little bit of mountains, nice people. Whenever Perry says he needs his girls, that's code for men and men only. He has an older mindset and can't handle the truth that he loves scrumptious men 
H.C. Halliday, go, 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 far, 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 far the fuck away. You're not allowed here. You're never going to be allowed in my home. I don't ever want to meet you face to face. I might have. I don't know. But if I have to meet you again, I'm not interested. You can be a fan if you want, but that's your, 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 your done do disgusting diligence. I'm filing a YouTube hate crime complaint from Francie broke that beautiful portrait. I'm on the phone with Fran now telling her everything. What the hell are you talking about? Francie broke what? I don't know anymore. Tony's gone, so good to see you, Tony. Perry's lucky to have you and your professional box opening skills. Thanks for inventing snowboarding by the way. Yeah, in your dreams, dipshit. That was Tom Sims' invention back in the late 70s, before Tony Hawk was even born. He started with snowboards in 79, 80. Okay. Then in like 83, 84, he released his first snowboard. Okay. That was the year he released his first snowboard. I believe it was 83. Because I was, I went up to Santa Barbara to visit. Perry, I'm offering you $15 to do a shop back oil change. You need to suck the five quarts of five to twenty up with the shop vacuum. No, and dump it back in the that'll, jug. Bl- that'll blow up the sh- uh, sucking oil up in a vacuum cleaner will blow it up. No, no, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Suck up a thing of oil. I will do what I can to help you with your SAG status, but KK scares me. Also, never joke about undressing me again. I, 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 it's your friend. Look, you're a nice girl. When you and I met at the SAG meeting years ago, you are a very sweet young lady. If you want to be a friend and, and uh, visit PCL, that would be fun. You want me to come down to the Screen Actors Guild and visit you personally? I'll do that as well. But uh, the the disbarment is absolutely what? Because I was friends over the internet with Gina Carano and uh, she goes and blackballs me. Same thing with uh, um, with uh, 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 Ray. Um, what's her freaking real name? Daisy, Daisy Ridley. <sighs> Leave her alone as well. What did she do so bad? so terrible i mean i mean i know gina's got a mouth on her sometimes and she doesn't know when to when the shut up anyway children join born wrong ministries they accept gays join where no i'm not joining some stupid ministry that I have no idea. I was going to let you back into SAG cause you know Tony, but I was just given a video by KK of you jacking off in a Kizara's clothing store in 97. What? I've never been to inside a Kids R Us clothing store in any year. So right there, Kids R Us. 97. What, what did I do in 97? Um, uh, my child. Where were, where was this Kids R Us clothing store in 97? I'm trying to think of my daughter and, and a Kids R Us. Was my mom with me or something? Going, going to a Kids R Us for my, do- my daughter? Most of the time when I got clothes for my daughter, it was at my mom's work at iMagnons. 
never got Toys or clothing in in Toys R Us or Kids R Us. So no, I was not in a Kids R Us ever, ever, ever. More Photoshop garbage, more lies about me garbage. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've driven by Kids R Us facilities, but I've never been inside a Kids R Us. I used to go to Toys R Us and get my toys all the time in little in, in little uh, HO scale models and stuff with little like army men and, and cowboys and stuff and space guys and in uh, for, for a train for a, a, a big train uh, set that, that my, my cousin and I were building in, back in Chicago and then out here in, in uh, Tarzana. Yeah which is uh, now no longer lived in by them. That apartment was like a mansion. It was so big and beautiful. Anyway. Three bedrooms upstairs, a bedroom downstairs, two baths, double sink bathroom upstairs with a separate bathtub and a separate shower. Perry, when you urinate, do you touch your genitals, or do you use your underwear to guide? That's a private question, and uh, why do I have to... No, I don't touch my genitals. Grab my cock, pull it out. Stick it over the toilet, and pee. When I'm sitting down taking a dump, close my legs, make sure my dick doesn't pop pop out in front of me, pee all over the bathroom. No. I hold my dick down. It's Sly. I want to cast you in my next film called Demolition Dumbo, but I hear you got problem with Kay. Kay offered Gina Karen know everyone banged her already. Sly. We got to work together, big guy. Hey, I want to bring you back to the, like, 1978, 79, when I met you at the corner gym, actually down the street, from where I presently live now. Do you remember meeting me at the corner gym in Tarzana? Tarzana, Tarzana, Reseda? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what, what, what's in there now? It's a, like a paint store or something. That uh, that corner facility print shop is right around the corner from there. The post office is across the street from where the uh, gym was once, known as the corner gym. Street corner is Wyandotte and Reseda Boulevard. Remember that facility? I met you there. I met uh, Perry. It's uh, me, Bill Cosby. I hear you are having problems with Give Me a Call. I can tell you how to solve your problem. By the way, how is Amy? Oh, God. Ouch. Ouch. Amy is my degenerate, disgusting sister in law that I want nothing to do with. So that's how Amy is. I want nothing to do with this whack job. Okay. Um, I don't even know how to answer that. But and saw you at Irvine Meadows Amphitheater back in 1985 when I lived in Costa Mesa. I took my neighbor to that concert at Irvine Meadows Amphitheater, and I forgot her name right now. What's her name? That was a that was a real funny uh, thing. It was like I believe it was when you turned forty was the name of your show. Bill Cosby turning forty or just just past forty, something like that. 
1985. Very funny stage show at the Irvine Mills F Theater. Neighbor, it was either Karen or Vicky. I don't remember her name. This is Stuttering John. Glad to hear you are no longer in SAG. You are a true scumbag, rapist, and sexual predator. Fuck you, Oh, shut up, you fucking whack. Away, please. I've got things to do, so, uh... Being Gene in Florida Perry is just so miserable, I feel bad for him, yeah. Miserable for all the degrading, demoralizing obnoxiousness that these people keep putting me through for the past five, six hours. California turns human pee into drinking water by only bleaching out the yellow. Our great state of Florida would never do this to its resident sunshine state is primo. I don't know what you're talking about. So uh, I don't drink pee water. I, I, I know nothing about this pee water turned into regular drinking water. I know nothing about this. Unless you want to talk about LA river water being pee water. That I can agree on. Pee water, shit water, sewage water. Yeah, that, that's the LA river. Yeah. I'll agree there. But yeah, they, they clean that water and turn it into uh, regular drinking dishwashing water. Perry, why don't you wear that garbage bag jacket anymore? Uh, because it's not a garbage bag. So, <clears throat> still a little little warm outside for me to put my jacket on. And when I'm in my own home, why do I need to put a jacket on? I'm I'm so filthy right now with the the disgrace I I went through today. I need to vacuum up what's behind me. And jump in the shower like ASAP, uh, as well as go down the street and pick up my uh, my shirt. That's uh, I'll get the shirt tomorrow at the cleaners. <sighs> Perry, my love, it's me, Christopher Walken. Did you see my Super Bowl ad? They were going to hire you because. Of Gina, they hired me. Thanks. Hire me because of Gina Wells. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, who was who was gonna hire me because of Gina? I, I, I again, I don't know what you're talking about. No one made any comments or remarks to me or or to my boss about hiring me or getting me a job over this. Uh, this Gina Carano BS, but then Gina Carano goes and has me blackballed. Thanks. Now, Gina Carano, if you want to come over here and pay me the money that uh, you owe me as well as owe, owe for, um, uh, Daisy Ridley for screwing her career as well as my career as well as your own career up, uh, we all know how rich you are, young lady, now that you have Elon Musk helping you out. So then I uh, have Elon Musk pay us all off. And get us our careers back. Thank you. I'm done. Okay. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, my love, I hear you have been with as many men as a nature boy has been with women on Space Mountain. 
And why did you jerk off and kids are you? Who oh? You're a liar, whack job. Boy, you're a fucking liar. Look. Yes, it was a parking lot in front of a kid's R.U.S. You were masturbating next to an old woman. Maybe that was your mother. You are sick You're a liar, you sick psychopath. What a effing liar, you sick, sick, sick psychopath. More gross, degrading lies. I didn't jack off in a fucking parking lot. You sick, homeless, thinking I'm a homeless guy, disgusting liar. Holy fuck. That's what homeless people do. I'm not a homeless person. You sick, demoralizing liar. Ugh. Now you're blackballed. Coming on my stream. I'm a maroon, I'm a buffoon, but at least I don't wear Velcro shoes like Stuttering John. Um, Velcro shoes. Do I have any Velcro? Yeah, I wear uh, Michael Jordan Nike high tops. Um, I do have Velcro shoes, uh, Velcro dress shoes. Yeah. Yeah, my dress shoes are Velcro. Velcro straps. Of course, I remember meeting you. One of the best days of my life. Look, Perry. Stop acting like a maniac and getting all worked up about nonsense. People love you. Keep on punching in PCL for life. Sly... Brother man, thank you. That was an honor to hear from you with a loving, respectable remark like that. Thank you so much. Okay. Guys, I want to clean up what's behind me and, and get it over with and, and go down hey, the we're street. Not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not done yet, Barry. Sorry. How much longer? Perry, darling, can they pick up my mess now? What are you talking about, whack job? I don't do stupid ass street drugs. That'll never be ever again. Ever, ever again. That'll never be. And I also know friend very well. Don't worry about your SAG card. As long as you behave on your stream and don't threaten to quit, it'll all work out. Keep on punching, Perry. Thanks, Sly. Thank you very much. Shut your dog up, please. God, I hate that shit. Five in the morning, 11 at night, dog barking all the time. Kevin Brennan would like to go on a bike ride with you. Well, when? When and where? Where? What? Uh, well, you want to bike around this Pulver Basin? You want to bike the West Valley bike path? You want to bike the Porter Ranch bike path? Where do you want to bike? Where do you want to bike from here to Dog Dogtown and back, meaning Santa Monica and back, or maybe to Malibu? I don't know. Remember, meet me later at 19655 Sherman Way for a real meeting. No BS. Please. Thank you, Daisy. I'll, I'll, uh, what's the suite number? 19655 is the building, but what's the suite number? Because I know of, of uh, about two or three law firms I used to deliver printing in that building. 
on Corbin and Sherman Way. And I won't waste your time asking you to bring me stupid Arby's either. Give me a break. Thank you, Daisy. When we leave that appointment, we will go somewhere privately. Okay? Perry, I wouldn't pay you a quarter. I'm buying your building and throwing you out and send that credenza to space with one of my rockets. Go fuck yourself, you whack job. I pay my rent on time every month, okay? Never late. I'm a Taco Bell girl. Please pick me up two cheesy roll-ups, a cheesy chicken nope. crispinata and a double berry freeze. Not at all. After the meeting, we'll go. We'll go eat somewhere special. Again, what's the suite number you want me to meet you in? 19655. The stream better not last until that amount of time because I, that'll really piss me off. I've got an apartment. I got to vacuum this shit up behind me on the floor. Broken eggs? Please. Are you a fan of Mike David from Red Bar? Would it be warm and lovable if you watched PCL? Do you ever ponder if Red Bar is watching? I don't care. I don't know who that, I don't even know who that person is. Red Bar, who or what is Red Bar? <sighs> Perry, you once said you hung out with Corey Feldman. I did the math. You were 16 and he was 9. What the hell, dude? I didn't hang out with Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman came into the print shop, on the print shop, the skateboard shop in Palm Springs. He was like, he was a really young kid one time. And then he went with Mike and I around the corner to the little pool that we used to skate called the Totem Bowl. Yeah, he came with us. Eric was there too, Mike's older brother. Eric's a couple years older than me and uh, Mike's one year older than me. So I was the uh, young, young, I was the youngest of the three of us. And then Corey Feldman was, uh, was with his mom, I think. She was there too. So and I think he had roller skates that he was uh, renting. Him and his mom both were roller skating. So they did it bait skateboards. No sweet number, and there's no meeting if I don't get my Taco Bell. Sorry, but I'm the bestest ever and I make the rules. 19655 is a office building. No sweet number, so stop bullshitting me. Bye-bye. I'm not going to 19655. Good day. All right, Perry, it's time for your favorite part of the stream. Thanks. Get rid of me. Visit our website for official PCL merch at perrycarabellalive.com. Access media share streams, phone calls, and bonus content. Patreon.com forward slash perrycarabello. Subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash perrycarabellalive. Order a cameo at cameo.com forward slash perrycarabello. Join our Facebook group. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash perrycarabello. Share your pets at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PCL pets. 
Join the Discord at discord.gg forward slash Perry Caravello Live. Follow us on X at PCL Official X and at Perry underscore Caravello. Follow us also on Instagram at Perry Caravello Live and at Perry Caravello, which I would like to get back. Please. We, we all know that my cump bitch horse sister-in-law stole that from me. And I would like that back again, please. TikTok, at Perry Caravello. If you want to send Perry mail, mail the mail to Perry Caravello Live, 1960. One, no, 18, excuse me, 18960. Ventura Boulevard, Box 209. Tarzana, California, 91356. Listen, I am leaking from this diaper. That's how much pee is in here. I've got to change right now. I am done. No, 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 no. Come back. We're gonna say goodbye. Say it. No, we're not. We're not ready to go yet. Come back here. Come I'm back. leaking. You, Perry, you can stay here for another two minutes. Oh Christ! By the way, uh, our next stream is Monday, of course, so I can uh, avoid Perry saying, uh, you know, uh, what day is today. Uh, and I think we're gonna take a l one week break from uh, media share, only because it was uh, acting a little weird, and I want to wait until it's a hundred percent. Uh, so maybe we'll do it like every other week or something like that. So Monday, you know, the videos that come up on the stream, you know, oh. on, on the stream, uh, that's, that's media share. So I think we're, uh, we'll take a one week respite from media share, then come back the following Monday. And hopefully, uh, the geniuses over there can, uh, figure it out. And, uh, cause there's a lot of back end stuff that's problematic, uh, with it right now. So I'd rather, uh, make it perfect. Barry, can you stay focused for the literally the remaining seconds of the stream instead of bopping away every two seconds? Oh. Here, one more super chat. Can you shout out Wild Randy and I, I, I cup for me, please, Papa Perry? What? No. Missile. Uh, is that it? Please say yes so I So it's okay for you to bring Skanko Gina Arby's, but I can't get me some Taco Bell? We'll go eat after the fucking meeting! After the meeting! 19655, again, what is the sweet number? Because 19655 is the office building on the corner next to the little uh, used car lot, meaning the uh, office building right there. On Corbin and Sherman Way. I know it very well. I used to deliver printing to a couple of attorneys in there. We did printing for us. So. <sighs> Let me go. You'll see it right away, but no Taco Bell, no Daisy. Bye, Daisy. We're done. Perry Caravello, I'm off to my meeting in Hollywood, Hollywood, Los Angeles area. Um, we're going to stop off at Arby's first, pick up the food for Elon and Gina and myself, and go.